Hi, everybody. I keep looking down there like that's the actual timing, so I just stared straight at you guys for a good few seconds. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> we're we're all here, sort of, not here. Um, so we decided to cancel the game tonight, but we still wanted to bring you something, so we want to chat with you guys. We're just going to hang out for a little bit. It's going to be me, that guy. Hey! Um, that guy. Well, that's a hat. There he is. That guy. Uh, and then we got a special guest on the phone. Special guest. Diva's on the phone with us because she's still driving back from uh, far away, and there's accidents on the freeway, and there's just no way. It's a bad night. So, uh, bad yeah, night for traffic. It's a bad night. The Wow. Yay. Um, yeah, Valen, we were going to have Nitsid and Starheart by themselves tonight. That we was were. Gonna be, I had a plan. I, I drew some stuff. I was yeah. really excited. Wow. I can still use these plans. I'm stoked. Fair enough. I have, no, I have all my dice. <laughs> <laughs> you have all your guys? We're done. Forget dice. about it. Dice. Dice. Oh, your dice. dice. Oh, yeah, you got new dice. Yeah, I have everything ready to go. I just, I, I, I <laughs> So do we. <laughs> You guys are gonna hulk out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So if you guys have any questions about like this show, how it works, like anything for like our methods of play, uh, like let let us know. Well, we're happy to answer. We're open books, or you know, really about literally anything. We're just here to hang, y'all. Uh, but I think it, it, it's cool. If you guys are curious about how how we get this stuff done. Let me know. You guys have been asking for Q and A's forever. Now we've thrown like two or three at you. Hey. You weren't ready, were you? There we go. Uh, all those questions. You got to write them down now. Who all went to Comic Con? Raise your hand out there. I went to Comic Con. We just got back from Comic Con. I'm still we recovering could, from Comic Con. Yeah, we could do a little bit of a wrap up of what we experienced. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me answer Mitchie real fast. Hey, Mitchie, good to see you. Hey, we're we're official <laughs> IG friends now. That's Ooh. super sweet. Uh, she's asking how he came up with the name for his character. I'll give you two guesses, but you're only going to need one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just I feel like that's a sarcastic question. But you know what? <laughs> there could be people uh, in there yeah, that, that know. don't know. Some people didn't click for them until like week 12. So that's hilarious. It's, it's very possible. I, I switched my name. So my name is Justin. <laughs> and then I switched the letters around so they're backwards. So now it's Nitsage. A lot of thought went into it. A lot of thought. Actually, I will say this. A couple of years ago, everyone was doing like their Star Wars mm. names where mm -hmm. you flip or uh, you'd flip your first name and then you add on your maiden name for mm -hmm. your for your Star Wars name my maiden name that's it or your so your maiden mother's name. maiden name mother's maiden name so it's your first name backwards and your mother's maiden name huh. so basically Nitsuj Alsup is my Star Wars name <laughs> according to Facebook Enad Wilson or Enad Wilson Nyar Cave Nyar Cave? <laughs> that, that's the total name of like a, that's a cantina alien right there. That's someone that's just Nyar like Cave. crumpled a yeah. piece of paper. <laughs> Easily. <It's>, uh, <laughs> hey Relic Hunter, he says, what's up you guys? I'm sorry I haven't been around lately, but yeah. I at least got to tune in for a Q&A. Hi. That's a good name. Well, I'm glad you were able to tune in as Haras. well. Thanks for joining that's, us. Yeah, Haras. And sorry it's not a show, Sarah, but stuff. Haras. Haras. What was that? Thanks for the sub. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for 15 months. Oh my god, he who was is still, says resubing. I'm sorry, that's nothing that I ever fixed. <laughs> resume. Resume. Thank you for the oh, resume. resume is so nice. <laughs> uh, thank you for the sub, friends. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Valen says, I'm going to do that for my next character and see how long it takes my DM to figure it out. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, so so that's that. No, I'm itchy. I, can, we... I can fix them. Crinkle, crinkle, snack, snack. Yep, yep. Uh, and don't forget, we have Diva on the phone. So if you have questions for Diva, <laughs> Diva, Diva, yes. What's what's <laughs> your what's your Jedi name? My Jedi name. Yeah, it's so it's your first name backwards, and then your mother's maiden name. Oh, my Jedi name's Dom. Well, that's a terrible name. Uh, <laughs> Aved. Aved. Yeah, Aved. I like Aved. That's Aved. very Aved. Jedi. Aved. Yeah. Aved Miller. Aved Miller. Miller. Sounds like a. Or like... if you go a generation back, it would be Aved Jolly. Ooh, ooh, I like the Jolly. 
Do that. Do that That's one. fun. That's so festive. We got some good ones. Noble, for, Noble I, Pratt. For a second, I was yeah. like, Aved Miller is kind of like e, a Dresden yeah. Files name. Vaughn. But then, ooh. Isim Vaughn? Oh, Dresden. <laughs> we should play Dresden. <laughs> Y'all! What's Dresden? So the Dresden Files is like an urban fantasy series. It, it was a TV show very briefly, um, and it was played by... Did you ever watch um, Arrow? Well, the guy who plays yeah. um, the chief of police. He plays Harry Dresden in that. Basically, he's okay. he's a wizard. He's in the phone book. If you got magic issues, you call him up. He helps you out. Uh -huh. uh, and in the show, his staff is like a hockey stick. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I can't remember if that's the show or the book. I think the show it's a hockey stick. Yeah. Um, but like all his spells, it's like you know, it's like his potions are like a can of coke and some hair and whatever. Fun. And like it's super great. And he's got a, a ghost named Bob as his sidekick. Oh, what a skull. fun thing! Um, what a fun concept. And the books are really fun because uh, like the world continues to expand as you travel mm -hmm. through. So that he's like, there's like a whole. He has to answer to like an angel who does all this stuff. But there's also Evil Hat, the uh, uh, who created fate. Mr. Hat? Uh, yes, Mr. Hat. <laughs> uh, they created uh, Paul Blackthorne. Thank you, Hardliner. Thank that you is his name. The... General Davis, thank you for the host. Uh, yeah, and it's a it's a brilliant book series. Like, I burned through those. Those are like my airplane books. I love reading them. They're like popcorn. You can just burn through them. Mm. Um, and they're almost, almost every single title is a pun, which is, makes me happy. Um, oh, and, 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 if you get the audio book, Spike, Nar Spike narrates them from Buffy. Hmm. That's James awesome. Marsters? That's yeah, fun. He, he I gotta listen to one of those. Favorite book series? Definitely not. Oh, or she's asking, oh, what is your favorite book series? Sarah White asks, what's your favorite book oh. series? Um, to, I guess, all of us. Douglas Adams. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide? Hitchhiker's Guide. Guide. So Ryan's is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Do you have, oh, you do have a mic. I think I've only <laughs> one series, and that's Harry Potter. <laughs> that's a good one. I'm not a, I'm not a book reader. Uh, Hardliner says, Dune, question mark? No, it is my <laughs> second favorite. Uh, Lord of the Rings will always have uh, the special place in my heart. So the Middle Earth books are just fucking dominate my soul. But I feel like I have to do more time defending Dune because of the terrible <laughs> movie that no one gives those books the chance that they deserve because they are brilliant. Um, but they're on par. It's just I, I fell into Tolkien first. If I had started with Dune, it would be Dune. But I started with Lord of the Rings, and that's what like set me on my... Well, I started with The Hobbit, but that's what set me on my like literary path of I love stories. Uh, so they win. Ooh, Dragonlance! Valen mentioned Dragonlance. <laughs> I fucking love Dragonlance. Sorry, uh, Diva, what's your favorite book series? I have to say Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I All have right. to say it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, General Davis says, I wish I could get the audiobook that Danny and Diva voiced in. You sure can. <laughs> it's in. <laughs> it's available somehow online. <laughs> Amazon? Uh, which, which book is that? Uh, 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 oh, God. Uh, it's by Rachel Jonas. Genesis of Evangeline. Yes, The Genesis of Evangeline. <laughs> oh, fun. By Rachel Jonas. Uh, yeah, John JBG. Lost Royal Saga. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping to record the rest of them. Yay. Apply pressure and wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Diva is on speaker, uh, John. You That's guys why we're not okay? playing D&D &D right now. <laughs> can you guys hear Diva okay? Uh, it's not, I think so. Let, yeah, let me know if you can't hear. I can hold the phone up better. Um, oh, man. I can also talk louder. <laughs> you sure can, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is a great question by Valen. I, I am <laughs> oh, buddy. We somehow still want to play, like, have We probably won't play, but feel free to come in and <laughs> grab a chair and sit down, and we'll keep chatting for a little bit. Oh, so <laughs> uh, Diva, you got, a, you got a question for you. What? Okay, Valen asks, hey, Diva, how excited were you to possibly kick Nitsich's arse tonight? <laughs> oh, so, so, okay. <laughs> As she does. Nitsich would say everything, huh? and Sparner would know everything, but then she would become <laughs> so drunk that she wouldn't remember any of it, and I would be really sad. <laughs> but it, 
I get Nitz. I would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can I can see him trying to get you drunk and then helping him kill the next person. <laughs> oh. I'd be like, oh god, guys, it's an evil person. I got a session. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Oh, oh well. Hey, Heartlander found the link to the book. To the oh, there it is. Group. That's fun. The audiobook is free with your Audible trial. I have no idea how much it is normally. <laughs> so, tell everyone that if they buy the book, they should review it and then demand the rest of them on Audible. I don't have to tell them, because they can all hear you. <laughs> okay. Demand the rest on audio, so we have more <laughs> But yeah, that would be helpful <laughs> if you want to. That's funny, Diva. Um, your spiritual weapon should be a tankard. I think it is. Says Valen. It? it is. It is. <laughs> oh, that's. Yeah, it came up once, I think. Yeah, it came up once, and it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a tankard. <laughs> I want. Looks like this. I, we have a friend. Oh. His character. <laughs> Just one. Oh no. And I want one. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. Yes, you did talk about this. What I is that? One. It's a tinkered of sobriety. You drink so it and if you, you drink from it, you don't get drunk. Oh. So if you have a drinking competition. Oh a tanker oh the tanker is magical. Oh, get all the money. Get all yeah. the money. That's hilarious. Ooh. Skylark asks, what is your favorite uh D D player character? Hey! Flint Bucket! Yay. Flint Bucket! Thanks, man. Thanks for the sub. Hey, Welcome. You guys. It's been a minute. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> in, Frindle. Yay. I've been that's enjoying it, hey. your, your 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 plushes and all of your coffee bean art. It's so exciting. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, that question was, hey guys, what is your favorite D and D PC? Like our our own, like ones that we have created. Um, I'd assume so. Mine is one that I've gotten to play once, twice maybe. Uh, his name is Grimmin Greyhammer, and he is uh, he is a dwarf. Uh, I think he's a fighter, a warrior, or something like that. Very straightforward, but I just like dwarves are my favorite fantasy race. I love a simple dwarf. I like talking in a Scottish accent. Yeah, I follow the trope, uh, but uh, he's. He's just my favorite, and he's like, he's always, like, I've always had his picture in my head, like, he showed up in a lot of stories that I was writing in, like, middle school and high school and stuff, so, like, that character's been with me before I even understood D&D or ever played it or ever explored it. Once I realized I could do that, I was like, yes. Hmm. So, he is my favorite character, and I know a lot of, about him. Uh, and a version of him actually showed up uh, when we were playing The Descent. I built Grimmond out uh. of the ranger, so he was a ranger in that game, but it was still Grimmond, the character, <laughs> uh, when we played. Um, and then he became a twin. <laughs> became a twin. Uh, I have brother. a question that I've recently, I just recently saw this word and I've heard this word. Trope. I don't, mm. I've never heard of, besides I think yesterday I heard it on yeah. YouTube or whatever. What's, what's trope? How do you use so it? A trope is like, it's kind of like, it's like a stereotype kind of for storytelling. So like ah. a trope is like, oh, this is the part in every season where they do this thing. Like jumping the shark is a trope, right? It's like, gotcha. we, gotta, we gotta do the thing. Gotcha. Gotta, dwarves are always Scottish. Yeah, dwarves right. are always Scottish, that's a trope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> Middle Earth is always English accent, British accent for the most part. <laughs> it's a little, this is a little more specific, but like it would be like elves are always in, always a British accent. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, copy that. Uh, something like that. I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> learning. <laughs> Uh, uh, my favorite that I've ever usually played is I usually play a dragonborn paladin. It's just my classic, and um, his name is usually Kel, because mm -hmm. that was my Irish Kel last name. Kel oh, fun. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> was he was he uh, was a good paladin? Yeah. Both of them. Okay. Yeah, I think I one time I did make him a, a oath breaker. Oh, but <laughs> a little, little complexity. Uh, my favorite, well, my favorite character isn't. So I have a very dear one that I was just talking to, to them about. I have a dear one that I put a lot of my time and soul into it. But my favorite one is a human fighter named Wave Woman, mm. and he is influenced from an old manager that I used to have at a theme park that I used to work at, and he is just obnoxious and hilarious and probably a little bit sexist, racist, just everything. And I'm not, I'm not like that, so it's fun to kind of be like that every now, every now and then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of, you know, vent, but 
<laughs> yeah, he's one of those guys that'll be like, hey, hey, how about uh, how about with sixty eight and OE one? Makes people super uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Diva. Yeah. Your favorite player character. Your favorite character that you've played in D and D. Well, so make the right choice then. <laughs> Starheart. Starheart, yay! You get yay. you get DM points. Is that actually the truth? No. Uh, uh, suck it, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michi says, "What is your favorite D and D spell?" Hmm. And it can't be Wish. Hmm. To uh, to everyone. If you got an answer, uh, go for it. Favorite D and D spell. Hmm. There's like There's when. So many. When? <laughs> <laughs> when is your favorite D&D spell? Probably mm. prestidigitation. All right. You know, we had a we had a question. I used that one for so many things that it was not supposed to be used for, and I got a lot of I got away with a lot. <laughs> we uh we had a question about uh if you had a real life ability of using a cantrip which cantrip would you would you have like in real life mm-hmm. and i mm-hmm. think prestidigitation i think would be the most practical yeah. used yeah. cantrip but I never need to take a shower you're just like Dang. yeah <laughs> instantly or you know whatever <laughs> diva so prestidigitation is one uh, that novice spell casters i'm just going to read it used for practice you create one of the following magical effects within range you create instantaneous harmless sensory effect Hey, thank you for the sound Uh So you can create a shower of sparks, puff of wind, faint music, odd odor. Uh, you can, oh, you know. I think I have, yeah, I have something similar to that. You probably have it. I think you might have thermaturgy. Oh, thermaturgy. Um, um. I feel like I would, I would like uh, a, a summon familiar. Mm. I think that would that be, would my be really fun. That's fun. Yeah, because yeah, then you, and you, you could even borg <laughs> into it too. Mm. Like polymorph, I think polymorph would be Ooh, really cool. That so it's like being in entertainment, you can mm. make yourself into look like anyone. <laughs> so if, especially if like stunts, yeah. I can make myself look like anyone and do stunts for them. That'd be fun. That'd be sweet. And if you you cast into polymorph, you can take the damage from <laughs> it. <laughs> You're okay. That looked real. It was. It, hurt. it really did. Hold Michi, on. <laughs> Michi wants vicious mockery because she wants to kill people with vicious mockery. Goodness. That's, that's legit. I, no. I I have those same feels. Ooh, Funbaker like says, here's a good question. Who would you guys pick each to play D&D with using celebrities? So who's our, our celebrity player pick? Or, or DM pick? I, I think I'll... Oh. I mean... See. That's easy for me. It's, it's Travis Willingham. Like I want to okay. play D D with that guy so bad. If you guys don't know Travis Willingham, oh. he's on Critical Role and he's a voice yeah, actor. Totally. <laughs> right. Well, who would be your celebrity? What? Who do you? Yeah. What celebrity would you play D D with? Would you um, play D D with? Yeah. I I feel like it would be really really fun to play with Jeremy Holcomb. Who? Hulkin? Hulkins? Or Hulkins. Hulkins. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. I would want Hulkins to run my game. Yes. Ooh, who is that? Jerry Hulkins. He was uh, Omen Drawn in uh, Acquisitions Incorporated. He's one uh, He's one of the Penny Arcade guys. He's so freaking funny. Yeah. I. I <laughs> you gotta look him up. Sounds great. He's really, he's uh, really good. I get it, a lot of people in the chat it. are saying Terry Crews and Matt Mercer. That's, of course, yeah, Matt yeah. Mercer. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I would just be so nervous around Matt Mercer, though. It's just like, I, 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 yeah, but he's so, right. he's so humble, of though. Of course. Like, no, yeah. If but. I could pick somebody who is no longer living, <laughs> mm. I would want Sir Terry Pratchett to Ooh. run my game in the disc world. That's what I would want. That'd be fun. Oh, <laughs> I'd lose my mind. Uh, but if it has to be somebody who is currently living, uh, I would play with... I was trying to go down because I think we're missing You know one. what? Actually, oh, I, that. I cannot... Yeah, that. Crap, what's her name? Uh, uh, Deb... Deborah. Deborah. Messy? We, no, we saw her run the, run her game when we were at the descent. Oh, Relics and Rarities? Mm. I don't know her actual name. Deborah. Deborah. She's, she's in True Blood and she's in oh, Daredevil. Devil. Oh, Deborah Wolf. Thank Deborah, you. Deborah, 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 Deborah Wolf. Wolf. There it is. <laughs> oh shit, Hardliner says Colbert. Fuck, that might fuck me up. Uh, <laughs> you're saying Mark Hamill, Jackie Chan, Anna fun. Kendrick. 
that would be all good. Fun. Anna Kendrick would be fun to play with. Jackie Chan? Yeah. Oh, she wouldn't run a campaign. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. the question was who would you play with? But I figure, true, true. I figure if I'm picking them all, I'll also pick in what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want her. I, she did such a good job, and she was so into the DM thing. Like, she had created, like, a puzzle box mm-hmm. for them, and she was mm-hmm. so excited to see them, like, figure it out. It's like, that kind of passion is so fucking yeah. fun. Um, I bet um, Patton Oswalt would be fun, too, to play with. Just oh, my goodness. His nerdness, you mm. know, and him being able to. Ooh, they say John Oliver. Ryan Reynolds. Mm-hmm. Ryan Reynolds, oh God, no. I, I honestly, <laughs> I love Ryan Reynolds from a distance. I wouldn't want him <laughs> fucking with me for three hours. I don't think I could take it. Yeah, I bet he was just chaotic. I, he'd just break the game the yeah. whole time. It's like having it's five fun. five uh, Sam Regals on his set. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's fun. Aw, oh, they you want to play with us. Oh, me. Cute. Who said that? Who's, who's spitting that bullshit? <laughs> Michi says she wants to play D&D with the Oh, is it Felter Friends? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, man, it's so oh, fun. Felter Friends. They're dicks. Fuck those guys. <laughs> um... That's funny. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, there's yeah. some ones. Uh, some ones we missed. Ha! Yes, Donald Trump. That's a. That's funny. Mm. Sorry, I'm going back up. Hi. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Ooh. What else would be good? Mm. Alan Tudyk. Yeah. Alan Tudyk. Oh, that would yeah. be fun. Curse your son, uh, but inevitable. Peter trouble. Jackson to GM only if he wants to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we get The Hobbit instead of The Lord of the Rings. Um, <laughs> uh, Rupert asks, how was your Comic-Con panel? It was really fun. Um, it was good. Like, we, we got to eat some food. We had a couple drinks before we went over there. Yeah. Um, we, uh, it was good. Hmm. We got laughs. We were the only group in that room to break 100 people in the audience. We found out after yeah. the fact, which is pretty cool. Yeah, apparently. And the reaction was great. Yeah, they were only in like low double digits for the Mar- Marriott Marquis until up to that point. Mm. Sir White asks, "What was your most embarrassing Perception Studio moment that was streamed?" Well, we all know divas. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it never happened. It never happened. Which one was that? Oh, when they called everyone, well, they called her out as being racist. <laughs> <laughs> she was talking about the, the black cloaked people. The oh, cultists. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> And she said something else. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's in the chat. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna do that to myself. Uh, man, most embarrassing. No, nope, can nope, I say nope. the night we let G on the first time? Ooh. Can I? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like embarrassing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like probably there was some moments, but they just passed by so quickly. Right, there's so many. I think for especially on Wednesday nights, they all go by so quickly. Uh, Do you guys remember any embarrassing moments <laughs> for us? <laughs> yeah, let us know. <laughs> Y'all were drunk. I mean, during the first year, I think that was pretty much every time. Let me get asked. Okay, legit question here. How many sets of dice do each of you own? And be honest. Jeez. Oh, oh, I just got some boy. new dice too from Haley. Uh, I um, own three sets of dice and then a grab bag of dice that is just. I think it's probably like thirty dice pieces, but there's no sets. <laughs> I have all but one set of dice on me. So let's count, kids. <laughs> Uh, so I've got, this is my first set that I bought for myself, ever. Uh, that was Two, my, um, three, oh, by the way, four, so we're in 4K today? Yeah. We're in 4K yeah, today. So, okay. yeah. You can tell, but. Thanks to uh, Amazon's uh, Prime Day, <laughs> we, we, Elgato had like a gigantic sale on all of their equipment. So we, we upgraded a few capture cards <clears throat> and things like that. Yes. So again, thank you for allowing us to upgrade our system. Yeah. So now we can make I've a got 13 show. sets of dice. Wow. 15. That's a lot? I yeah, mean, that's a it's lot. It's a good number. It's yeah. reasonable. Yeah. I, I you mean, can't I've get more than that, though. You have to throw one out, and you can always have 13. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's a spooky number. <laughs> you won't be able to see this, because I'm on a green screen. So it's my, my crystal green set. It was my very first set I ever bought uh, for myself. Mm. I have my Perception Studio Colors set that I bought because it was Perception Studio Colors. Uh, oh. Yay. And then I got my metal set, green and black. Uh, and then I got my rainbow set because equal rights. And then I got 
This is just a ah, crap D20. Uh, these are freebies. Oh, oh, sorry. So I, there's a few sets I don't have with me because they gave us a set at Avernus. Oh, uh, yes. Or, yeah, the Descent. Um, so they gave us a set of D&D &D dice and they're like scaled up. They're like big fatty ones. They're like clear yeah. charcoal -y. And then the other set I don't have with me is the one that I keep in my other bag. And that's because I bought it at the Dragon and Meeple because I didn't have any dice on me, but I had to play uh, that night. And then I have my little tiny bronze <laughs> set. And then there's a little tiny plastic set that came with this, but I like these little copper ones better. Mm. And then I think that's it. I don't know. That's a, that's a lot. I talked way too much for that particular. Rumor part says first you get your first you get dice, then you get your metal set, four, five, then six, you get seven, your gemstone set, eight, nice, eight, eight, then eight, your gem. That's set. hilarious. <laughs> well, I and that's my metal just dice. D and D dice because mm. I have two sets of Star oh, Wars shit. dice. I've got eight sets of Fate dice. I've yeah. got I've got three sets of Fate. I've got a set of Star Trek or, dice or Fudge dice. <clears throat> yeah, and I got I got a lot of shit. <laughs> Um, hmm. Actually, my, I have my, uh, so not to, I'm going to plug myself, sure. So I'm a geek on <laughs> gaming, brand ambassador, yada, yada, uh, just for clarity's sake. But also I do like your stuff. They sent me um, the, the quad mod, which like allows you to jam a bunch of like small games into like a, a smaller oh. carryable because the backpack is huge, right? So it's like if you're only taking a few games over to somebody's house. Um, but I filled the entire thing with dice mm. uh, from various games wow. and like just regular bicycle sets, my, my liars dice set and like all these other things, like they're all just in there. I'm, I feel like we missed a lot of questions while we were talking about I think we oh, were just talking about dice. Set. My oh. favorite set is still my uh, crystal green set. I think I use it the most just because it's my first one and I deserve it. Um, my favorite oh. set. <laughs> I filled the entire thing with dice. So, ah! Hardliner has about the episode where we're, we're drunk. That, okay, yeah. You can file that under the most embarrassing one. We got sh wasted sh early, <laughs> early. Like, bad I yeah. mean, in season one oh, yeah. of Perception Check. Yeah, when, when we were still just perception check. Yeah. Um, Where's the chat on my phone? Mm. Right. Diva, how many you got? Um. Diva? Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Diva? I think you can also pop it out. Diva. Pop what out? Pop Jesus. the chat. Uh, if you go to the, the uh, oh, no, that's okay. How wheel, many how many dice do you have? How many dice sets? Pop it out. Pop it out. I currently now have four. Is that what this is? And yeah. I have six <clears throat> but now you can comment as you Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't love the last one I got, but I wanted it to be aesthetically pleasing with the other sets of dice that I had. I didn't want to have two sets of like bluish dice or mm. pinkish dice, but I would get confused between, so I got like weird, really whitish one. Nice. When yeah. which one is your favorite of the bunch? The ones that Art and Amber gave me my first set. Aww. Very it's, sweet. It's, it's pink and blue, and I looked it up online, and it's called the Princess Set. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me happy. So we got all those. Oh, uh, no, I'm just uh -huh. looking for And then. Fun bag says, speaking of dice, do you, uh, do you sell, any of you have the old oh, D100 that rolled for fucking ever? I I have a D25, but I don't have that. I do not. I've rolled one, I never bought one. Um. And then Michi asks, uh, if I can ask, how, do we have any plans for partnership pushes this year? Yes, we need to stabilize. <laughs> We're kind of all over the place. Um, schedules so, aren't lining yeah, up for Schedules well, yeah. aren't great right now, um, but they will be better. Uh, I know after next week, my schedule I, is a lot more in my own hands, so I can take care of things a lot better. Um, we also have, just off camera here, a large pile of things for giveaways that mm. people have been kind enough to give us, mostly Goldie. Um, <laughs> and then... And then, Diva, you you did you gave us this chess set, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a Super Mario chess set and stuff. So we're basically, we're trying to compile as much as we can so we can still give you guys stuff while you help us out. The nice thing is, it really is just about viewership for this next push because we got all of our check marks. We just wanted it to look good. If they if they dig deeper, we want them to know that we we've done the work, we've done the leg work. Um, but yeah, mm. uh, yeah, it was supposed to be in June, and then. My schedule exploded, um, and then it kind of kept going down the line. I think in, in almost perfect rotation, something kept going wrong. Um, 
General Davis asks, is there going to be another cucumber ASMR stream in the future? <laughs> yeah, that was that was fun. So, and you guys seem to like it, so we'll do another one. We'll probably do it on a different night yeah. so that it doesn't conflict with stuff, but it's a good go-to if shit yeah. falls apart. We might even do like a chunk me and cucumber roundtable ASMR. Yes, yeah, we're talking about uh, <laughs> yeah. reading scripts. Because we know uh, Crund has a bunch of those scripts that we're going to read through, and we figure we can kind of combine that fun and make it be like an ASMR read through of those scripts. <laughs> Also, uh, Haley and I just got our Drogdor the board game mm. uh, from the Kickstarter from last year. So uh, one night in the near future, uh, we'll, we'll let the Perception Studios peeps uh, play that and have you guys witness that awesomeness because it's super fun, especially <laughs> when you get arrowed and, you know. <laughs> It's drug door. You can't go wrong with drug door. Right. It's perfect. And I feel like I, don't know, I wonder. I wonder how fun it would be without the the Homestar Runner knowledge. Hmm. How much does that you, add to the experience? Or it's everything. Okay. Good. You have to. Uh, you have to know it. This is like. What is this? This is. <laughs> this makes no Why sense. Why is this funny? And may God have mercy on your soul. You know, I was like, no, this is, you know. Ooh, <clears throat> Connie got the Stranger Things oh. D&D set. That oh, we fun. can borrow. That's or cool. maybe you could run it for us, Connie. Yeah. Come and do that. Yeah, run it for us. Um, oh, Balan asks, what kept you off from getting partnership last time? It was an error of timing um, mm. more than anything. So the thing is, we knew we had the numbers, yeah. so we wanted to submit as soon as possible. But the problem was it took days for um, the site to catch up and actually input that data. So we had we had our numbers, but our little like checklist thing didn't roll <laughs> over until after they already looked at our page. So if they had looked closer at the numbers, they would have known we hit everything. Um, but we didn't because it didn't click over yet. Uh, so like after they told us no, I think almost immediately, either the same day or the next day, was when it's like, congratulations, you got all your check marks for partnership. We're like, fuck, fuck. Um, <laughs> so we're very, yeah, we're very, very close. But it also takes several streamers many times, even when they do meet all the requirements, to yeah. get that approvals, which is why we want to really pad with, hey, we're still doing the work, we're still being seen, we're still doing all this. Yeah. All, all those stuff that's less interesting. And, hmm. we didn't and have to do um, Valen, it's not really a appeal process, it's more just like you submit again in a couple months. Yeah. 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 And we just haven't had a consistent schedule to to feel worthy of submitting yet, honestly. Yeah. The nice thing is it doesn't drop away. Like, we still have those check marks. Even though our viewership hasn't been as high as it was during the last push, we still have check, check, check. Like, we're, we're good. We have the thing. Uh, but they do look closer anytime someone does submit for partnership because they want to know that we're viable and we're a way for them to make an extra little influx of a few pennies, you know? Mm. Um, Yay, business. <laughs> <laughs> Busyness. <clears throat> well, yeah. I think I think the next time we do it, we can make it, but that's also why we really want to take our time, buckle it up, figure out what the next shows are. We've been talking. We've had a creative, creative meeting recently of, of new ideas that we have in the bag that I don't necessarily want to talk about because I'm going to be like, hey, we're going to do the thing and then never do the thing. I don't want to do that to anybody. Um, but we do have good ideas. ASMR was one of them, so we did that. That was cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We got more stuff. Uh, I remember Brian says, so besides D&D, what other RPGs would you like to stream if you had time schedules working out? I love the Genesis system, uh, so I will always, always... Uh, honestly, I'd use it in any setting. Um, it, I got introduced to it through the Star Wars RPG, the Fantasy Flight game Star Wars RPG books. Um, but the way those dice like land and the way you interpret them, it's probably my favorite system. Mm. Um, yeah, for all those who are watching and don't know the Genesis system, because you know it happens. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Genesis system? Uh, so the Genesis system is like the. It's kind of like how there's like Fate Core, and then there are variations on Fate. So, it, so sorry, because Genesis is like the name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're not surprising me. I know. Yeah, I know. Just yeah. for, you know, for those who don't oh. know. <laughs> we lost Diva. She can yeah. come back. She's um, party. Mm. Oh, maybe. No uh, so, okay, so sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> basically, it's, it's, an, it's an interpretation system. So, unlike D&D, &D, okay. um, where it's the DM is like the sole, like I am running this game okay. and you are all in my world. Mm. The idea with um, Genesis is that you are, it's a cinematic storytelling thing. You're all working together to tell the best story. Mm. So there's a lot more push and pull. Fun. And something I like specifically about the Star Wars version, the Force and Destiny one, there's a, there's a pool for light side and dark side points. So like I can, I can use a dark side point as the DM 
to basically make something now true within the world that benefits you know the bad guys or the, oh, or the okay. obstacle but then you can flip them again do that stuff so like eventually all of them are going to end up on one side or the other unless you keep going back and forth wow um <laughs> but the dice themselves it's you have it's uh, more challenging it's it's just a different way to think about it because you have to also keep track of a, just another point pool. Yeah, and it's it's very much. Um, it's also it's a little like fate, but you, using the fate points in a different way. Yeah, it's fate without having to write shit down, which yeah. I also like. Um, but the idea is you. So say like, all right, I want to hack into this computer terminal before these people get gassed or okay. something like that, right? What you would do is then take your your pool, you'd roll your dice, and so you you for dark collect. and light. This is just so the that's, standard. So that's outside of oh, the dice okay. rolls. So that's just like another yeah. Star Warsy thing. This is based on success instead of points. Oh. Instead of uh, instead of high numbers and is low this numbers. still is this is this what you uh because uh, um. I think Marisha did a bear, like the bear oh, the delete, honey heist? the honey heist, and they used like their D6 to either do success oh. or failed. Yeah, sort of the same she might thing. have did kids on bikes and that. This, <clears throat> these dice have no numbers. Yeah, so, this is, this so is symbols. All, they're all symbols, uh -huh. and so it would be like, all right, so you would be like, all right, are you like, if you're getting help, you can get a boost die. If you're being hindered by something else, you get a drawback die. Wow. So the boosts and drawbacks, boosts have either good things or nothing mm. on their sides, and drawbacks have the same, like bad or nothing. Gotcha. Um, um, and then they, there's like, depending on how trained you are at a skill, you get to use higher dice, so you have a higher chance ah, of success. Gotcha. Um, and you can succeed, you can fail, you can triumph, you can, um, oh shoot, what's the other one? Ah! It's triumph like getting like a, like a, like a crit, a crit. Yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah, triumph is like a positive crit. Positive numbers. But like those things are, I, I think when you're, in combat, it does change the numbers a little bit, but storytelling-wise, that's why I like it. So gotcha. it's like, you can fail. Oh, sorry, so there's also advantage and disadvantage, which okay. is neither success or failure. Um, but it, it basically means, because you've done this, now something good happens. And then as a team, you discuss, what is that good thing that happened? Interesting. Or you can, you know, you can, yeah, you can fail. And, oh, despair, sorry, despair is the other thing. Uh, so you have triumph, you have despair, and those are like the big awesome and the big bad, but you can get both of those in the same role. It's so like, what is your triumph and what is your despair? Mm. And then how do you move forward? And the idea is you're, you're pulling all these threads together together as you tell the story, and I love, love, That's love crazy. that. Are system. you still uh, controlling like your PC? through this or yeah. yeah yeah so you still have your characters there's still a gm okay. like, there's still someone running the game but it's it's less it's less like this is my game and you're in it it's very much we're all doing this together gotcha. i'm just providing scenery and yeah. other characters gotcha well. i mean it, it, it really depends on your dm style but i feel like genesis forces you to be more collaborative which and i like to hearst from that the pencils and parks this game is the star wars system yes yeah yes 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 Hold on. i gotta Come back. Visualize there she is. Of what the Star Wars Hello. Oh. Yeah. Um, they and on on hyper the way that they use the di the light and the dark side points is they made it they gamified it so that you can actually tip towards I those points. Oh, cool. Uh, all right. There are other questions. Oh, other systems. What are some other fun systems? Sorry, this is. I'm sure there's other questions. So sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so besides D and D, what other? Uh, so. Uh, so I love Genesis, uh, the Star Wars RPG fantasy flight game system. I like Fate because it's light and quick. You can play it in any setting, and it always works, which is nice. Uh, I love Dread oh, for yeah. horror games because it is built in tension. And in Dread, Justin, have you played Dread? Nope. So Dread, you, instead of dice... I'm a board game and RPG <laughs> game rookie. <laughs> Fine. You, uh, you so instead Jenga? of dice, yeah, you use you use a Jenga tower. So you make poles off the tower to see if you succeed. Uh, mm -hmm. And so as as it, <laughs> things get more difficult, yeah. the tower is more wobbly. And if the tower falls, your character dies. Um, or you can <laughs> knock the tower over to die dramatically to help the story. Oh, you're, rage quit. <laughs> you're basically designed to doom. And like you're, you're gonna die. That's. Um, but it's like how you do it. Oh, you can't fun. succeed, but it's, it's less likely. Uh, huh. Go out in the blaze of glory. Let's see. For, uh, fun back, I said, so first, old school players, would you ever consider doing an AD&D campaign uh, and throw back to that hope? I don't know that zero? system. Um, I don't know it, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't know it, but I would love to play one. And we actually we recent, recently came into a bunch of AD&D books as well as, um, crap, what's it called? The the sci-fi one that they had. Uh, I have that. Oh, yeah. With, like, original dice yeah, yeah. and original uh, pewter minis in it. It's so um, pretty. 
So I, I really, really want to play this, I wanna but play I, I want to bring in someone else who knows the system to run it for us. Adam. And I have someone in mind. <laughs> huh? Adam Kelly. Adam. Adam. <laughs> Fly out here. Um, I was, I'm thinking my friend Noel. Like oh, he, yeah. He's old school D&D. &D, yeah, yeah, And he's yeah. super fun. It's just he's so busy. Um, but if he's never not busy, I want to get him in here to, to run us classic D&D. &D. Uh, oh, so uh, we should tell them about the, uh, so when we were at the con, walking the floor, just like looking at all the vendors and stuff, we saw a uh, Tiamat figure in one of the display <laughs> stalls, yeah. um, and, like new in box, well, relatively new in box and everything like that, no price on it. So we went up to the guys like, hey, how much is this? Because like, it's super old, right. original thing. He's like, oh yeah, uh, let me check. Does it we still have that 25 on there? 25? Yeah, okay. And we're like, oh, $25? Yeah, let's, get let's get it. He's like, oh, 2500 We're like, whoa. Or like <laughs> a play school quality <laughs> Tiamat figure. Like, I get it. Like, come on. All I want to do is go beep, boop, smash, smash with it. Like, I don't give a shit about it. Uh -huh. movie, you know? Um, let's see. What's in the, oh, City of Mist was fun. Yeah. I would love to play that again, but I would love like to really set up the world and, and the city and, and all that shit, because that was delightful. Yeah. I, I really like that system. I need to relearn it because it's been so long. Uh, they're talking about, oh, oh, I also really want to play use the kids on bike system because I was mm. watching um, over at Hyper their, um, whatchamacallit, um, it was a mini. <laughs> <laughs> The, the oh my god! Yeah, I actually okay. love, I love the show. <laughs> Kolak, thank you, Hardliner. Yeah, Kolak, nineteen ninety one. Uh, they use kids on bikes, and what I love about that is like it is a system to shut down murder hobos <laughs> because you will get injured and you stay injured. Like if you break your fucking arm, your arm stays broken. And generally, you're playing as a kid, so City you can die. Of hobos? No, <laughs> what's the way? What you it, it, it depends against murder hobos. Oh, so it's like for D and D, it's like you can City slaughter your way to the town. What did I hear? What? But kids on bikes, it's like it's murder, murder hobos. Yeah. Like, oh, the city, oh, this game's called City of Hobos. <laughs> what? Sorry. Um, no, that's Rupert, it was a toy, not a mini. San Diego. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. Yeah, it's it's, it's camp. new system. <laughs> uh, I also really want to try out. I've had Fantasy Age forever because I was a huge fan of Titan's Grave, which I watched on YouTube a while back, and I told all of them to not watch it uh, because I wanted to run it because I bought the book. Um, and that was like the Will Wheaton uh -huh. designed RPG thing that he did on YouTube. Uh, I I loved it, and I was like, cool, I'm gonna get the book. And then I got the base game as well. And it's just like it's a 3D6 system. Hmm. Um, it's super simple, but I just never got it to the table. There's a lot of games I never got to the table. I want to play Fiasco. I want to play like. Yeah. Uh, I have White Hack. White Hack is basically it's like they took the best bits of D and D and boiled it down to like 20 pages. Come here. Yeah. Well, it's a I'll be. There she is. There hey, lady. She is. Hey, bud. Hi. 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Oh. Look, you're here. I know, but no, but no, E and D. And I should have feel bad. <laughs> <That's all> right? <laughs> good, you should. <laughs> Here's I a good do. question. Uh, if, so, if you could be a D and D class in real life, what would it be? Yes, please. Ooh. Thank you. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Because you could be a. Okay. I just feel like I was like, oh, I'm gonna be a paladin or whatever. It's like, most of the classes are like fighting people, you know. <laughs> Here, bud. Someone hugged Diva for me. She's too cute. Oh, thank you. It's kind. Of... Uh... Oh my gosh! Look like at the boost. Oh, you boost. You need a giant. microphone, don't you? I do. Oh, you're here. Ryan hit set me up. Oh God! Thank you. Oh! I could have been good. This cup? Yeah. Thank you. We look good. <laughs> we're in 4K. We're only streaming it like. Yeah, we're, we're not streaming in 4K, but we can do it. We can do it, y'all. I don't know if Twitch even does. No, no, I'm just saying we can. We can go back to it. Jay, Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Jay Sparkle says, but is she sorry? <laughs> <laughs> You can oh, all yeah. see my, my, my new skincare regimen. No, I don't have any. Look, look, I don't regimen. remember the, <laughs> the superhero RPG. I was going to meet the Agent Knight, and so I was kind of. I don't remember the name yeah. of it. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. the you take five points fine. of annoying the GM and a dramatic moment and damage. Uh, cheers uh, to yes. your Five gold agent. in a party? Hope it goes. Hope it goes. Hope it goes well. It seemed like it went well. It Good. seemed like they liked Sorry, me. All over the place right now. I got nervous and I babbled. 
I do that here too. You, you dabbled or you dabbled? Oh, you dabbled. I really I dabbled. don't remember. Okay. Don't. Don't. Cancel Don't. The did, he said, did you dabble or did you babble? And I said, I babbled. And then I said, I could dabble. And then I dabbed. Oh, As a no. dabble? All I saw was the dab and I'm... <laughs> are they, are there we was a joke in there. Oh, there I know. Joke are we not allowed to dab? No, it's against the service. Good, because it? it's stupid. <laughs> No. It should be. It's a stupid thing. Oh, damn it! I should have run with that with you. Yes, it sure is. Terms of service. Mm. Is it? Did, did you guys answer all that question? Uh, which class you would be in? Yeah, I didn't. You did. You're the only. I did. One. Oh, the <laughs> what class? In real life, if you could be any D &D, in any D and D class, what would you? Be? Oh, goodness gracious. Where's my? Where's my phone? Oh, there's my phone. Can you pass me that? Yeah. Why is it here? You about to look up the classes? Me? No, Diva. Oh. Yeah, she is. No, because Fucking because busted. because <laughs> because because I just want to make sure I have. Uh huh. Because uh -huh. again, I come from an MMO look, background, here, uh -huh. so here, here. Oh. I'll just read them for you. No, 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 no. I got right it, right it, right it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Barbarian. No, 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 no. Clara, Bard. Druid. No. Druid. <laughs> druid. Bard. Don't be rude. Be a druid. I would. <laughs> Okay, on principle of Potter, I would probably say wizard, but in very likelihood of me, I would be a bard or a cleric. That would work for you very well. I would probably I feel be like a wizard bard. would be a pain in the butt because it has like all your components with you. It's not like yeah, no, like I, I don't kinda. think I would be. I would probably be a bard. It's like sorcerer. You don't need any. You just sorcerer. You just have it, right? Or a cleric. Yeah. Or a cleric. Um, sorcerer? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to give my soul to a. You know. I mean, so that now. <laughs> if, I, if I was a class. Because I would say druid be because I play druids in almost I'm everything, sorry. but but, <laughs> but not, oh, maybe but monk. Not. Oh, maybe monk. Monk might be good for me for stunts. I would there you go. feather yeah, fall yeah. and all that stuff. Oh hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Solid well, but bard choice. would be good for yeah for uh, yeah. You know, I'd say was not yeah, masks. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm sorry, I'm all talking about it. Are you okay with that? that? Yes, you're absolutely. Hey, close to you, so I can read this. Close to it, bud. I would play. I would probably. Fuck, I don't, I mean, yeah, but I uh, know I would probably, <laughs> ah, what would I go for? What you would, what class you would be? Probably You'd be a ranger. A ranger? I would probably But why would you be a ranger? No, I know, but that's no, the thing. Right? It, like, if no. I could bring that magic to this universe, I feel like I would make a different choice than if I'm already in a magic I don't world. feel like you would be a ranger, no. I think maybe a bard. Yeah. Maybe, um, man. Man. Be a sorcerer, come on. I, don't, I wouldn't want to be a sorcerer. Why would you want to be a sorcerer? I'm not I'm not big on like that's destructive shit, man. Not I think really. probably I would be a bard. But I'd be like a storytelling bard. Yeah. And I come on, vicious mockery. What do you mean destructive stuff? Is that the only kind of stuff that sorcerers Lift have the is destructive? Cloth life. <laughs> <laughs> Danny is the only kind of uh, spells that sorcerers have or I just don't no. want to. I don't want to be a wizard because I don't, don't want to like they, carry they around like components everywhere with me. Other spells. Oh. Well, maybe you have a good source. like god GM who doesn't require the components. You know. <laughs> I think the only reason I wouldn't be a wizard is because I read a lot of Dragonlance and poor freaking Fizban or whatever was always mm. forgetting shit. Yeah. Um, but I mean, not that he's typical. Um, I might be. I think I might have to go with a monk. But I want. I want, I want a mage hand, so I don't have to like get up and get things from the fridge. You know what I mean? Like I'm that lazy. Like, that's where my practicality goes. I feel and like I could be a druid too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, just druid! Just for the environment. Just I feel like you would be a druid. On the environmental yeah. and animal side of things, I yeah. definitely feel very. Because you definitely want to talk to every animal you come in. I, I want to do that, and I also want to save the earth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You're yeah. poison ivy. It's what you'd become. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna be a druid yeah, too. I don't know anymore, guys. We're all druid. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Um, I'm multi-classing. You said druid, monk. What was the other one? Druid, monk. There was one more you said. Oh, uh, well, I said sorcerer. Druid, monk, sorcerer. No, we can make this work. A <laughs> no. druid, monk, Ooh. Oh my god. Maybe Ryan, I just might be a druid. You answered right. I a haven't. You haven't. Please no. answer. Uh, <laughs> oh, I did, I did, I did, I did. I, 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 think, I, think I, I think I've gone from bard to druid. Mm. Mm. All right. Bard career, mm -hmm. druid. Yeah. Hobbies? Life. Yeah. I only turn into a dolphin on weekends. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh. 
it would it would definitely either be a paladin or a wizard. Okay, but why paladin? Just because it's just a fight right? for the right. Yeah. Under her Pretty much. Yeah, you would be a paladin. Yeah. You'd be a paladin. <laughs> it's it's not um, really much of an argument. <laughs> um Yeah. Oh, fun bucket says, has everyone seen Endgame? Yes. Yep. David still hasn't seen Endgame. We're gonna skip every, that question. No, but I Come guess on. everything that happened, we're good. We're good. We're no, good. We're, good. we're gonna skip that question. We're good. No, where's the question? Upset. It was how hard did you cry during Endgame? So oh, you can't answer that, hard. can you? <laughs> I did. No. Really, I, I I cried at the Hulk. I mean, it's a pretty vague question. Yeah, I, I teared up throughout several parts of the film. I'm a but cry. when yeah. the thing right. happened, well, not. I guess there's a lot of things. When uh, <laughs> God damn it, I don't want to spoil anything. No, uh, I, David, uh, close your eyes. No, not for close you, your eyes real fast. Oh, okay. I don't want to I'll, I'll just do. I'll pull this up, uh, and I'll do this. Mm. That was when mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. yeah. For me, it was uh, that. Okay. <laughs> That's when my okay. I lost control of my face and yes. body. Yeah. Like, ah, 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 ah. like it was okay. Okay. embarrassingly great. Um, it's a good time. Okay. <laughs> Legit. Like I, I was like feeling my own face to try and figure out what it was doing. Um. Uh, yeah. Fun. Any other questions? Oh, what would you be as a race? Dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> or Janasi. Ooh. Because I didn't know about Janasi before, but mm -hmm. I like Janasi now. Yeah, or a Loxodon! <laughs> yeah, but you look weird. <laughs> the, 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 if you're any kind of Janasi, you're looking weird in the world. Dope as shit. I don't have no, to breathe if I'm an air Janasi. No, the, the government economy. is going to snatch you up <laughs> and take you to testing. It's fine. I'll blow them up because I'm a Janasi. <laughs> no, and then it's going to be Grand Theft Auto style and you get five stars and all the government's coming at you. <laughs> Wait, but is this just us as races or is this the entire planet is now races? Different races. Well, the planet is different races, Diva. <laughs> oh, the D D, damn it! <laughs> Basically, think that no they black all exist. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> if, if they, if all of these races exist in our world, oh. that's what I'm saying. Okay, so that then, makes so then you wouldn't be sense. taken okay. by the government. And I might be a loxodon. Hmm. What's a loxodon? They're <laughs> elephant people. <laughs> They're dope. But so you would choose to be an elephant person? Yeah. <laughs> He'd never forget anything. Stop it. Yeah. Stop, stop it. <laughs> no, they're so what do you cool. need freedom? They're big. Yes. They're strong. <laughs> you get a trunk out of it. Who's going to fuck with you if you're an elephant man? Do so you always have cargo? Who? A trunk? That is a good question. I'm a prehensile Who face. Who is going to? <laughs> uh, I, think I, I think I go with half orc. Mm. I get the strength and, you know. I already look like this anyway, so, <laughs> so might as well just get some strength and awesomeness to go with it, right? What would you be? Some cool green I'd be skin. You'd be a tiefling. Oh. Just, be, just for fun. Fun, yeah. yeah. I feel like I would probably be a halfling. No, oh. I'm sorry, I'd be a tabaxi. Never mind. Oh, I almost want to be. Just, just, I like that. Just, just to look cool. Yeah. An asimer. Yeah. Am fun. I saying that right? Asimar. Asimar. Just, yeah, an just, angel to, just to look yeah. badass. Kind of bluish silver with yeah. the glowing eyes. The wing with here, the glowing no, eyes. No, those are in the theater. Just expansion. walk in and own okay. places. Let's see yeah. all the, all the new the races. Because there's actually a the bunch of new races. <laughs> especially since they added like the Magic the Gathering content. That's what, like... So oh, also... I, I, I think, Sarah, <laughs> I think I made that comment. I think we may, we may, we may, uh, we see. I think, I think we're... Ooh, fuck, there's Warforged, too. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't want Dave, to be he's an elephant no. man, yeah. No, because he's a... He's that, compensating like... for something with that trunk he's got. Look at them, they're so sweet. Is that what you were thinking, Sarah? Is that what you were thinking? Look at him, he's so good. And he's a good boy. <laughs> he's a good boy. He's oh, a good boy. I mean, he's not not a good boy, but I don't know if I would choose to be an, to elephant. Be an elephant. Well, I still have hands. I can still do people things. I'm hands just an elephant person. Hands or, like, person. seats. No, he's got hands. He's got he's, hands? He's got That's four, four weird. fingers. That's no pinky. Weird. But he's got hands. Does he have thumbs? He's got Disney hands. He's got thumbs. <laughs> so he can't will his He doesn't have hooks. Like, yeah, he's got, he got, he got so, thumbs. But would you eat your food through your nose? Or he has a mouth too? No, I mean, no, 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 no,
I am jet lagged. That's oh. what I'm going to blame all These of this on. These sound like excuses. I'm going to blame <laughs> all of this. Uh. I know the anatomy of elephants. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> oh, Connie, the littlest dragon board, the little dragon. Look up Fey Corgi. Fey Corgi. Fey Corgi! Corgi are Fey. They're of the Fey. Corgis are it's magical. A, it's a fae. serious fact. <laughs> there are steeds of fairies. This, this is known. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. That's. Oh, look at him! You want to? You got a tongue sticking out. <laughs> oh my God! He got little glasses. And look at him with his scrolls and his book. That's. I like that. Super this cute. Dream right <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh man. Everyone, do yourself a favor and look up fake corgi, fake corgi, fake corgi. right now. Yeah, click the link. Wait, that is just this got a? By that one. This isn't. This is a race. Yeah. No. Yeah. What? Dude, that corgi looks oh, badass. It's like a whole Dungeons and Doggies race mm -hmm. as well, or races. <laughs> Dungeons and Doggies. I'm Kickstarter. telling Haley, and we're going to be up all corgi night looking bar. at you can everything. Actually, the figures are for oh, sale. Stop my it. My they might be gone by now. Oh I saw my them in the <laughs> Do you see this? Oh, buddy. He's, oh he's, my that's, god. That's, uh, <laughs> that's so Scrappy Dude that. right there. That's what that is. <laughs> There's also a system called Pugmire. Oh, yeah. this, oh, this, oh, this one's kid wrong, friendly. though. It's a. Oh, it's a centaur. Oh, card. that's weird. They said you should no. kill off Starheart oh, just so you yeah. can play one. I'm sorry, what? They said you should, we should kill off Starheart so that you so can play So I can play, play a corgi a, thing? A fake corgi. <laughs> a fake corgi? I. 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 Oh. No. What's that? We can also play different games, but I, I just think that's I would I would totally play a fake corgi. <laughs> but I feel like my fake corgi would have to be like mm. a barbarian or something. I would want I would want <laughs> this weird dichotomy. <laughs> uh, unless Nitzich kills her first. Oh, I'm not gonna kill oh, Starheart. God, he... You never <laughs> know. Oh man. <laughs> Message kills Starheart. Diva's going to kill Justin. <laughs> probably, probably. Not really, but probably. Yeah. The, the next requirement for the soul is the purest. Lips. Oh, the purest of heart. It's not her. She gets drunk. And... <laughs> Excuse me. I befriended a freaking. I befriended a, 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 a Cyclops. <laughs> I befriended a cyclops. So much For what? I, I just thought of Into the Woods, and I was like, well, yeah, what if there were all these extra requirements and all the souls? Because like, at some point, it was like, you have to get one good soul. Because like, oh, it wasn't your character, Danny. You're right, you're right. You're right. I think it was Ruber, it was Ruber Bard, wasn't it? Yep. And he's yeah. like, don't give me ideas, right? <laughs> You've already made it. It's already in. I'm surprised that the, dude, that the, dude, the, the guy in Nitsuj's head, I'm surprised he hasn't told you to kill off one of us. I mean, he's, oh, he's, he's said... He's, he's, no, no, several he's, times. He's, several he's times. Said, Every no. time I'm around you guys. Every time you're he's disagreeing, he's always no, like, kill him. Kill him. No, but, <laughs> you just don't hear him. No, I mean, I, I hear... I mean, I, okay, hang on. Time <laughs> hibbity, hibbity I witnessed uh, that, but... Oh, that's not I'm too curious bad. how it's very fruity. if yeah, he's going anymore? to get more adamant about it, it rather than just say it more once rum. and be done with it. If it would rum. be a do this, do this until you almost go insane with it kind of thing. If he inceptions you, basically. Justin, can you grab the rum, please? Oh, yes. Uh, um, well, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, Diva. I'm, I'm glad that Danny I'm glad doesn't that do that. that hasn't happened. That I know, weird. right? Ooh, we can make some funky juice. Put the Sprite in there. Funky juice. If you want to try it. Well, oh. technically, funky sure. juice is Pinot Grigio and Sprite. I know this because there, 30 That's brought. for you. Oh. <laughs> I can do it. Yeah. It's what Liz likes do you want, to drink. Do you want some of this? Um, I'm good Ooh, for now, I'm but I may have some in Now I do. <laughs> holding the... I'm out of soda. Oh, oh invisible my. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, oh that's that's it. So. That is awesome. <laughs> oh man. That's really cool. That's, that's oh, so that's dumb. gonna be. Oh, it's still. Okay. <laughs> so, speaking of carbonated things. Yes. I am carbonated on, soda? I'm on hour like 17 of Ooh. our trying to get back to the States. Time zone stuff? Um, or I'm on, I, so <laughs> I woke, woke up at cool. three in the morning in order to get to the airport. Mm. It was disgusting. Awesome. Yeah. His international travel, we had to be there by a certain time, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. 
so 3 a.m. Oh, and then later I go to get a water during our layover. And so I grab water. I'm not looking at labels. They all say water. <laughs> okay. So I grab water and then I get to our terminal and I go to unscrew the top of it and it just goes <laughs> this water volcano. And I'm like, oh, what no. the crap? And it was sparkling. Ugh. I grabbed the sparkling water and there was water everywhere and I look at this woman next to me and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I just got sparkle juice everywhere. You she was okay juice. with it. She's like, it'll 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 evaporate. Evaporate. Yeah. Anybody yeah. want an RX bar? What's an RX? Oh. They all have one. Yeah, you would do like blueberry, mint chocolate, or peanut butter chocolate. Blueberry. Do they that taste says, really eggy because they have a lot of They egg? do not taste eggy. No, that's no. Good to see immaturity knows no age. Of course, I would be playing with the green screen, too. Close. Close. Put your pencil there. Oh. What uh, pencil? Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There's the middle of it. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is what happens when we don't get questions, you know. <laughs> oh, we Brought to you by Ghost Ride. <laughs> no one will ask questions, and I will find the list that What's His Bucket uses in the show. Inside the after studio. Oh. There's all those fun questions. James Lipton. <laughs> Thank you. I Do it. it. Find oh. it. Do you have it? That's hilarious. Ooh, what is your human's highest ability score? What? Like as a, as you are, oh. what is your highest ability score? And what is your dump stat? <laughs> I used to be strength, but then I got disappointed. I am clumsy AF. So dexter dexterity. Dexterity is. <laughs> Mine used to be strength, but then I got married and got disadvantaged. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you. Oh. Steve is gonna laziness. You. It's called lazy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> What's my I've highest seen, stat? My mm. highest is, oh god, I don't know. Intelligence! Oh, I want to look at all of no, them. Mm. I need, no, I need, I'm a visual person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so probably, probably right. not mine. <laughs> nah, no, definitely not. I would say... I would say charisma. Maybe. Is your highest? highest? Maybe. Well, I'm very charismatic, but it's probably <laughs> the best of the bunch. I don't know. Either that or... Just those? That's okay, all you dexterity got? would be the one that would dump. Charisma or intelligence would be, I think, my top. I'm not very wise. Mm. I'm gonna take a beating, but not that much because I'm a twig. <laughs> I'm pretty quick. I think my dump stat would be strength. I think constitution because I never get sick. Mm. I haven't really broken any bones. Do you get really sleepy though, really quickly? That's one thing I'm thinking of. Oh yeah. I, I'm thinking of <laughs> constitution in that term and also getting peopled out. I mean, like, okay, I need to go, like, recharge the batteries. <laughs> Dude, like Nightshade says, Ryan has to have a high con to just deal with the felt of trends. That's not <laughs> constitution, that's wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my highest stat would Sixes be... Sixes across the board, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think my highest stat would be wisdom or charisma. Mm. I think. I don't know which one, but I think it would be one of those. Yeah. You know. You know. One might, one might one. Be one bucket says, or asks, when did you start playing D and D, and how did you get started? Yesterday. Um, Told someone the cuteness. I think that was to me, but that's being very <laughs> assuming. Probably cute. <laughs> Danny, your dump stat is gluten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all have no idea. Oh, negative two to his constitution there. Mm -hmm. Negative and two, more like negative poo. <laughs> It's already number two. I know, but 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 just let me have this. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> let me have this. So I started playing D and D because I wanted I wanted to try it. I'd heard great things. I'd never done it, and so I gathered up Ryan, um, Lockerbie, uh, Andrew. Yeah, Lockerbie. Michael Holly. What was this? Michael Holly. How long ago was this? It was so long ago. Three, two four years, years ago. No, Keanu three, Reeves is here. Three or four years ago. Yeah, three years ago. Oh. Uh, Michael Holly, Amber, Art, 
I think that was it. Yeah. That was a campaign. And we played two weeks, maybe? Two nights? Two nights. How many years ago was this? Three years. Before we started doing this. Okay. And then it fell apart, and I was so mad. That's when we, that's how Perception Check happened, because I was just like, if we make this a show, y'all will fucking show up, because we're all entertainers. <laughs> so we're just like, yeah, if we make a show, we'll, we'll all show up. And we all showed up. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so I am... I am fairly freaking new to the game. Like, I've always loved the idea. I love telling stories. I love playing games, but I've never really meshed them. Um, that's me. Um, same. Yeah. Really. We're, me and Danny are in the same boat. <laughs> Literally the same game. Yeah. We start playing at the exact same time. Yeah. I, I actually... I my first experience was not the... F <laughs> there was one prior to the one I was thinking where mm -hmm. my very first time playing D and D. I D and didn't. I so I was invited my husband and I were invited to uh, a friend's house who I think it was like an old, old, old roommate of his the from when he first moved here, but I'm not sure. I think there was a cat. But there's <laughs> there were all of these there was a group of people who were invited and I didn't know any of them. Mm -hmm. And this idea of playing someone who you weren't in front of a ton of people I had no trust with. And mm -hmm. not that I'm not not that I'm not a trusting person, but it put me in this very vulnerable position where immediately I was like, my character's dead. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but then when I actually f played um, a campaign, uh, it was a group of friends uh, who we, we all used to be fairly central in, in Southern California. And then slowly we scattered along the west coast and so a way for us to hang out <clears throat> once a week was we would do a Skype session and have all of our faces and then we would play Fun. online. Aww. Yeah. And I was a bard. <clears throat> Thanks. Was a bard. Official piano release. It is a big tanker. I was tanker. a bard. I made <clears throat> songs about everything. Yeah. And <clears throat> I was from the Minnesota part of whatever oh. place this oh. was. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, yeah, I think I started about three years ago as well too. <laughs> that was it was after Haley and I got married, so two doesn't matter, roughly. Yeah. And uh, my buddy was telling me about him playing D and D, and I was like, haha, nerd. Mm -hmm. And he goes, No, I'm I'm playing this Drogdor. I'm playing a Dragonborn. And I'm like, what's a Dragonborn? He's playing his Trogdor? Yeah. And he's <laughs> nice. like, Yeah, here's a couple of like um, I, cause I re he goes, I record them because my buddy's playing them online because they're in Texas, and I was listening. I was like, "You're you're doing the voice, and you're what else can you can do?" Wait, <laughs> hold on. And then Brian Pendergraf yeah. was like, "Hey, watch Critical Role mm -hmm. to get an oh, idea of what it is." And I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and I remember them going up to some dwarf in Cragmar. Crag, Crag, Hammer, Crag Hammer, and then like ha talking to some dwarf, and like he wasn't like giving them like it's like oh where's the inn like where's the inn that was oh it's down there you know and like he wasn't giving him good directions and like someone's like well here here's a here's a here's a coin like tell us you know can you help us out now and just that interaction of oh you gave me money like yeah I'll tell you now it's like there's so much things you can do outside of a video game. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you know, yeah. and I was like, oh. Everything. I was like, how do I get more into this? <laughs> and they're like, play Skyrim. And I never played Skyrim before, so I started playing Skyrim. I'm like, damn, I can do more in D&D. <laughs> yes. Yep. Like, yes, that's what I want, you know? And so, yeah, that was freaking. Same. I, like, that open worldness, the ability to make any choice. Any choice. Fucking so good. And have to. And have to deal with that choice yeah. in real time. Yeah, oh, yeah. consequences. It's so you good. Can't pause uh, and take a break. No. Can't pause it. I mean, uh, you can't a little bit. Or you can't. You can't save and then go nope, back see nope, what the other options nope. were and then go back again. <laughs> Next question is, uh, what's y'all's favorite alcoholic drink? Mine currently is a 14-year Oban Scotch. Mm. Cool. Mm. Probably. Any mixed drink with rum in it is this my go-to. That's why there's rum in the building. It's always uh -huh. <laughs> I I seldom drink. I only really started during the advent of the current world status. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is when I <laughs> um, and it's been a lot of Chardonnay. Mm. I'm a 50-year-old. 
<laughs> I'm 50. 50 years 50. old. Uh, I actually don't Probably, drink. Yeah, I love uh, I love beer of root. Is my favorite mm. type of alcohol. That's root beer. Ginger beers are really ginger good. Beer. Oh, that's not terrible. You don't like ginger beer? Oh, that's too much. It's too much ginger. Mm. I like ginger ale if it will burn me. <laughs> it needs there, to be like hard. Ginger ale. There's nice. a place that there's a place I went to that made it that makes makes a ginger beer, and they said it's very gingery because they made it um, like uh, on site. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, I didn't want anything alcohol. I'm like, okay, well, I just want a ginger beer because it'll be nice. Mm. Oh my god, this was medicinal level. Bring like, this to me. Oh my <laughs> gosh, it's it's it's. Because every hop bottle dotty, is a fucking dotty. liar. Every bottle is like, this has got so much spice. This has really got a bite, and then you taste it. And you're like, this is like Canada Dry. What's it's your favorite root beer brand? Because there's one from the Pacific Northwest <laughs> that's really really good. Yeah, I, I like um, I like Mug. Mm. Mug, uh, Bart's, Bart's is good, but it had that bite. Is like, yeah, I agree. Uh, right. yep, yep, yep. I love cream soda as well too. Like any yes. bottle, mm. cream, any like glass bottle cream soda, <gasps> that's pretty good. You know like Virgil's yeah, is pretty good. I have a cream soda for you. I have <laughs> Thank I'm you. Look it up. Um, oh, in Pensacola, there's a uh, um, restaurant called McGuire's Irish Pub. Uh, it's like one of the famous restaurants in Pensacola, and they brew their own root beer. It's mm. amazing, but it's it's warm though, it's so you have to request ice if you want like <laughs> cold root beer. Mm. Yeah, just because they get it right from the right from the spigot. That's cool. <laughs> it's this one. Ooh, Rumor Bart has an interesting question. Danny, how far into the Salins Legacy story it's are okay. you? I'll bring you something. And do you have an end goal you're working on? Hmm. Uh, we are still very early into stage one of what I have planned for this story. We oh. are setting the world. We are not far <laughs> in, um, because we've only traveled maybe a small portion <laughs> of the continent. Yeah, we can't get out of this mountain. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're back in Copper Ford. As a wool brewing. Yeah, so I mean, there, there's a lot of political stuff. Like, because there's this, there's a whole continent to explore. There's a lot of stuff happening that is still happening even though our players are not directly involved I but things that. that they have passed by are still happening now like That's the crazy. ship all kinds mm-hmm. of shit the ship of evil evil ship oh yeah the, the ship with the yeah. black flag and yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. no i want to i want to go i'm ready to go i'm ready to go there, there's cycle. a lot um <laughs> But uh, as far as like completion of story, I don't want to plan too far ahead. But I know Indeed. ultimately where things are going right now. But I'm also flexible because I've already had to twist and turn a lot from my own brain. Hmm. But that's not a problem. Like it's it's exciting for me because I'm like, oh shit, you're doing that. Cool, let's go. Yeah. Um, Full speed ahead. But, <laughs> but yeah, I yeah, I'd say hmm. an eighth or an eighth of the way through like stage one of all of this stuff. No. So are we past chapter one, or are we still in the prologue? Oh, no, no, you're, you're like chapter five, if we're, but I don't know how many chapters, how many chapters there are. There are. <laughs> well, it's like a good 30 chapter book. Chapter mm-hmm. five sounds about right. Ooh, there's another one. Uh, Rumbard says, I got a good one. What was the most memorable moment a character you played did? Um, for me, I was playing a wizard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was actually the campaign with you. Um, where we were, imp- it was the Minds of Vindelver campaign. Mm. Oh, fun! Yeah, that's the one I'm DMing. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And and so I was I was a wizard. We were all in the group. We got inside the caverns. Yeah. And there was a, a group of goblins around this fire. Yep. Just chilling out. And we're like, what should we do? And it's like, all right, I'm gonna cra- uh, create a minor Im- an illusionary image of a goblin female dancing in the flames. <laughs> <laughs> And then they all got closer, and we flew a fla- uh, threw a flask of, of oil at the flames and exploded and killed like half of them. That's awesome. I was like, yes. Well Ooh. done. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that little goblin lady doing exactly. it. Exactly, yeah. Butterbeer is good. <laughs> Butterbeer is, I had Butterbeer ice cream, mm. and it blew my mind grapes. Because yeah. my favorite thing, <laughs> one of my favorite things is butterscotch. Uh-huh. Butterscotch yeah. is like, it is my kryptonite. Agreed. They had that butterscotch soda oh. at 
Universal City Walk mm -hmm. store. Oh, I had, no, I got, um, I think it was Flying Broomstick brand butterscotch That's it. soda. Yep. That's it. I got some of that, and I made some fruit beer floats with that <laughs> stuff. It was amazing. I'll bring it next. I'll bring the. It's so good. And I'll bring it next. And I'll bring you, and I'll bring some cream soda. We can have a soda thing. It'll be good. I like Yay. it. Uh, yeah, when Nitsuj made the deal with the <laughs> demon. That was just fun. I've never just been like, sure, let's do it. Uh, usually my characters have a little bit more wisdom than that, but nope, not an itsage. <laughs> that was amazing yeah. to watch. I went home so fulfilled that night with character play out. Like yeah. I, man, I loved it. That was, that was great. See, that's funny you say fulfilled because I went home afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to like, like, you know, uh, dive into this character no, and really like absolutely. have this conversation it's and, super cool. you know, I love, <laughs> I went home afraid. It was, I mean, I was afraid for you. So much of that awesome. came out of just like, you know, that one sentence that, you know, we had to talk because I, I always want players to be Whoa, like, hey, right. like, what, do you, what do you want for your character? What does your character yep. want? Um, and yours was just, or, that, yeah, what it wasn't spoiler, it was a Q&A. It was just like, you wanted power. Yeah. Like, now how can I do that in this universe that already exists? I'm like, I know. <laughs> um, oh, man. And that's how no. that happened. Because that no. wasn't initially, that was not part of the plot at all. And now it is a huge part of the plot. <laughs> yes, uh, it because is. Because now there's a lot on the line. Oh, my gosh. Uh, players may or may not be aware <laughs> I'm of. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> I don't know what my favorite thing I've ever... I, I feel like I don't get, sorry, I don't get to play very often. Cucumber plays all the fucking time. The favorite thing that Cucumber did was I think he, he pissed an enemy to death. Like, he pissed on an enemy until it died. Goodness! Oh, yeah! Uh, I remember that. That was the Wait, thing. Wait, like, he drowned he, him? Or did you just have a very powerful stream? <laughs> it was basically using vicious mockery in, like, a way. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Goodness. Yeah, it was Cucumber. Yeah. a thing. Um, <laughs> But mine, it's like, I don't know. I think I my favorite things are, are always just like solid role play interactions. Like yeah. I, yeah. I like that side of D and D more than the combat. Yeah. Um. So like I love the conversations. Okay. I love when I can like, like, you know, verbally maneuver my way through a problem in, instead of having to like, all right, here we go, kill it again. Yeah. Like I, I try to use like with most of my characters, I try to use violence as a, as a last resort unless I'm playing something that is only good for fighting. Mm -hmm. Um. Time was it favorite or memorable? What oh. was the verbiage? Memorable. Okay. Mm. That changes things. Does it? Yep. Yeah, that can be bad. <laughs> because ingrained <laughs> right. in my brain, <laughs> but specifically is the prostitute battle. <laughs> because I, I had a, I had, a such, on this I had such a different intention. I was just thinking, no, all I, hear me out, hear me out. I was thinking, okay, I'm going to convince him that I'm essentially the old cleaning lady. And he took it differently. You literally said, I'm the sword polisher. With that tone, I'm like, yeah, sure you are. No, I can't. I, no, I rewatched the other day. Really? I opened the drawer and I was like, hello. You, and you, then, said, you said, I'm the sword polisher, but he already had his sword at the blacksmith. I know, because I was, I was, and then I realized that's not, but, but I was thinking, okay, if he has, a, if he has many swords, then he's probably getting them. But I was thinking, I worked for the blacksmith, you know, like with a whetstone, just making sure that a sword is sharp Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, that's that stone was. It, it, it Get derailed, Get and that's not what I. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that was so good. That was great. Good pimp, bad pimp. <laughs> One pimp, two pimp, right? And it, it brought in. It brought in. Uh, Oh, yeah, so tiny toes. Oh, yeah. Tiny toes. Wait, tiny toes was in that battle? Yeah. That's where he showed up. That's where he showed up. It's like the very end. He, like, was tacked on at the back. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm grateful for that because of tiny toes. Everything happened. As far as scotches, you need to try Dalmore. I think I have at a tasting at the games. And then Fun Bucket mentioned Newfie Screech, which I have not tried. And then while we were at Comic Con, I tried one called Peak Monster, which is. It's weird. It's from Scotland, but it's an English whiskey because it's made by an English guy, but it's in Scotland. It's a thing. It's really yummy, though. Um, and affordable. Uh, it's scrolling yeah, down. Yeah, we had an Irish one. Mm -hmm. now that we, we went to a place uh, in San Diego called the Whiskey House, and basically there was an entire wall 
that was nothing but different bottles of. Whiskey. See, that's fun. I yeah. wish I liked alcohols because there's so many different flavors. Yeah. I just can't see the taste. Mm. I just can't mm. do it. Mm. That's why I like to sip now to see, like, okay, maybe yeah. I like that. Yeah. But yeah. Ooh. No, that's me, and I can't mm. do anything. I, I don't care for any beer at all. No, beer, no, no beers with, I'm so picky. Me too. I'm like, just give me hot cocoa. <laughs> if I could still drink beer, I'd like drink like When my, uh, my dad and I were uh, shucking oysters, so popping the shells off for oysters, mm. when I was in middle school, and he was drinking his Bud Light, <laughs> and I was middle like, <laughs> shucking oysters? Middle school? I mean, no, no. He was Bud Light. No, he, no, he, he my dad, dad was. <laughs> What's a man tell a story? Yeah, no, my dad was drinking his Bud Light. We were outside, like, shucking oysters. But I was like, hey, Dad, can I have one of those? Because, you know, you're with your yeah, dad and you want to, you know, he goes, yep, you can only drink this here, though. I'll go, mm. well, of course. Right. Mm, this yeah. is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It was not good. I I'm hated surprised it. Surprised shucking oysters isn't a euphemism because that sounds like it should be. Probably yes. Shuck some Polish oysters sword. today. <laughs> no, that's not. Shucking the old no. oyster. No. Husking the old corn. See, eh? that's something that Wade Bowman would say. <laughs> hey, hey, lady, want to go back to my house and shuck some oysters? <laughs> I think that's <laughs> diddling the old harpsichord, eh? <laughs> Popping the old top, baby. Uh, I'll find that pearl <laughs> there. Okay. <laughs> See, that just, that just takes it from the... the. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, I'm aware of gluten-free beers, Jose. There are there are a few good ones. Greens is my favorite. Greens Double Dark, dark is the best, because the beer I miss the most is, like, dark, dark ales, which just don't translate well when those beer. greens can't be used. Um, mm-hmm. But that's the closest one I've ever had. Um... Oh, uh, Gutenberg, yeah, is, is my other favorite. Gutenberg. Gutenberg's red is my... Oh, the Gutenberg. Yeah, the Gutenberg. Ah, the Gutenberg. It's Canadian. Yeah. I don't know why my Canadians <laughs> sound like that, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gutenberg. <laughs> Generally, the beers that I ever have is usually, like, the, the, the darker ones, like... Uh, like Hefeweizens and stuff like that that actually have like a super thick flavor to them. So I've um, tried a couple of different beers yeah. and it seems like the lighter ones are just Turn urine up. to yeah. me. Oh, they're gross. But the darker beers for me have a little, maybe I'm saying this wrong because I don't know beer flavors. Uh, it's smoother for uh-huh. me. So. They're not bad. Right. So I, maybe I'm going, I like myself, I think I would like toward the darker yeah. beers. So you don't like hops. You don't like the nasty yeah. bitter or whatever. I guess Hop- not. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, hoppy. You, you should try like a chocolate stout. I think you would like that. I've still drank beer. I haven't been able to do it for like eight years, but I remember. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, Sarah had a question earlier, which was, um, we all know I have a gluten allergy. Does uh, anyone else have any allergies? I'm lactose intolerant no. bullshit. So is Art. Do you take lactose? Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. <laughs> so yeah. I have a real Stupid. interesting one that's kind of gone away. Um, I... It's going to sound like not real. Black robes. No. I, I had... I, my menus. body developed um, a, not exactly, I don't want to say an allergy, but a severe sensitivity to California. (laughs) Okay. You're not special. Everyone's allergic to California. No, so so (laughs) I'm from the Pacific Northwest and the climate is very different. And I- It has one. I I moved here and I, I developed some, like, it was almost like a, Plague? not a rash, like, but it eczema? just, it was not good. No, it was like, it was almost looked like, it looked like I had ringworm, basically. Whoa. But like several of these things, but it was not that. It was just like these weird circle things. And I went to an <clears throat> allergist and I was like, hi, so what's happening to me? And they uh-huh. did some tests and the like, and they said, your body does not <clears throat> like this climate and it is reacting wow. to it saying no well, the pollution. Um, and then after a couple of years everything leveled out but right. it was it was just such a shock to the system huh. being in one kind of climate to another but i had allergy tests done recently and i have a couple things that i have Such but as? Not, not food um olive trees huh. but not olives huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> well done, you did it. <laughs> like, what? You cracked the code. That's crazy. And, and, some, and some other things that are like m- minor enough that I can get away with. Hmm. That's why. You get any allergies? I'm allergic to cats, but I don't care. <laughs> but I everyone used should to be say allergic I was to cats. Allergic to eggs. Because I, in preschool, I said I was allergic because I hated them so much. I used to say I was allergic to pepperoni for that reason. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't like, I I didn't Uh, like it so much. And it became a thing. They called me on my shit. They called my folks. It was great. That's hilarious. (laughs) Is that like a friend? I wish I was allergic to cats. (laughs) (laughs) So I had an excuse. Oh. Oh, You don't like Luna? (laughs) Who? My cat. I don't, your cat's not here. (laughs) She's the sweetest. Oh my god, she's so they sweet. They eat your face when you I die. Her. <laughs> what? Cats, they eat your face when you die. <laughs> yeah, because she, they, they love me so much, they want me to be a part of them forever. That's not no, it. no, you're That's no longer useful way. to them, and now you're food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I could go on like oh, a totally different Oh, you're allergic to cats, but you don't want to be allergic to cats. Right. Oh, that was okay. another question. Sorry. Which was, uh, what has been your favorite monster while playing D&D? To um, fight against or to come in contact with? I'm not sure. I, I think, uh, I mean, here's the deal. I just like owl bears. Mm. I'm, I'm a sucker. You like, like what? Everybody. Owl bears are my favorite. Owl bears. Owl bears. Owl bears. Lance Blizz says either. 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 Mm, I think the, the scariest one we ever came across, I think, was. Oh, shit. No, I don't remember. No, I just like owl bears. I'm going to keep it simple. Owl bears. Again, not favorite, but memorable was, I don't even know what it was, but it was something. Not that memorable. It was, it was, it was in the prostitute brawl. Oh, no. There was something oh, in that. Oh, shadow demon that came out of my... S- no, it wasn't that. There was some, like... Oh, the blob was cute. Ball of, the beholder? No, it was... Was that it? It was an eye cube? of... Oh. Well, weren't there jingly bits? Yep. Oh, there was a, the, there was a beholder. It was, was the dick, the yeah. dick beholder. Oh, the phallic beholder. That yeah. gave me nightmares. <laughs> or dreams. <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> Big um, floppy nightmare. But, it's, but I think favorite things, I know that the thing that came out of the, the dagger was pretty freaky. Yeah, the shadow you demon, yeah, the shadow that monster was, thing. That mm. was insane, and I love it. The butt holder, it. that's funny. Oh, this, the butt holder, the fart holder, these are all Ryan's least favorite enemies. Uh, I mean, dragons are so epic. Yeah. Mm. They're so epic, and they're, you know, they're the staple of this game. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is a titular character. Uh, I get to ride on a dragon. On one of my characters for a little bit after I, uh, and then I came down on him with my hammer to kill him. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Dragons. Just not dragons. Doesn't matter. Dragons. Always dragon. dragons. 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 Ooh, favorite character drop? Tiny toes. <laughs> the tiny toes. Song. I love toes. Paragon Tiny Toes is a, is a favorite. Oh. Um, it was amazing. Oh, what was I it? really liked the oh, Vor. As a DM, the, was, was that the orc? No, Vor was the assassin oh. who was serving the queen. That's oh, that I mean, one was really he's cool. still yeah, a yeah. very uh, he's still out there. He's, 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 just a, he's a part of this a, yeah. character. Yeah, yeah, he was really cool. Game, I really liked made him. Made me very happy. Just it was like, what perfect timing! Yeah. and I like the fact that he can be far enough away to survive and come back another day. That was super rad. It's yeah. a lot to play with. That mm. was a very on edge moment. That whole fight, yeah. if, uh, even with all the dick jokes going around, that was actually a pretty cool bit of role playing through uh, some of those characters as well too. Mm. Or um, uh, you know, the little bits that they had in this yeah, in yeah, this yeah. world. Mm. I like the oh, and that vampire who just showed up was super fun, and I forgot oh. his name. Oh. I don't remember the name, but I know who you're talking about. That yeah. last time or the time before? The, no, it was last it was time. last time. He was talking to Aura. Yep. Oh yeah, they made he a deal. Was it was a hundred hundred. Terrifying. Yeah, a hundred uh, oh. kids. What was it? Hundred people? Oh, people, people said, oh. pe- pe- I don't think it was specific. To, oh god, if it was children oh, specifically, I would kill him. Oh. <laughs> uh, I feel like if something like that happened to the Starheart, she might just die. 
<laughs> I don't think she would do anything. She would just drink herself <laughs> to death. We, like, we are coming up to a point in the story where death is a very real possibility. That's for so everybody. fun. That's so fun. Uh, <laughs> I did like Jessica. I liked, I liked uh, night, Doctor Strange it. came in. Night. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for Nitsa, just seeing this powerful sorcerer just all of a sudden just come in and just like, what? just takes charge and be like, you're healed, you're healed, you're healed. And in my mind, like, in Nitsa's mind, like, it, it, well, in my mind, it, like, Doctor Strange didn't have any fear. He was just there going, you know, doing his thing. Mm-hmm. I think that was just cool to imagine. If I want to fight Doctor Strange, heck yeah. Forget about Spider Gnome. I'm looking for lip balm. And, and Captain America. Oh, all that, that whole, the, the entire Avengers. Movie. Yeah, jeez, that's great. I'm still so bummed. Okay, so I'm gonna open up about that fight. If oh. I haven't already. Which one? Because the guy hmm. in the cavern with the spiders, um, oh, that that cultist. Yeah. He was a big deal in my world and in yeah. my story. Really? And he got wrecked. Oh. I was so oh my gosh, you're the He was like basically this huge, oh like, God. he was the lid to like a bunch of secrets oh. and shit that was supposed to come spilling out. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then it's just like, it's like, there's no way. There's no way he's yeah. going to make it out. There's no way. Nope. Like, for a while, I thought you weren't going to make it out either. Like, this is it. This is where we everybody were. dies. We were. No, this is the, uh, <laughs> um, the weird ones. But yeah, he was, because he was I'll the first cult that could speak uh, that you all met. Incoming loud noise. The first cultist that could speak? Because they were all mute up until him, and there were, there were reasons, but it was... Uh, I don't know that. Did I don't they get their tongues cut that. out? I didn't know they couldn't speak either, because we never actually tried to talk to one until one talked to us, and then we knew they could speak. I don't think yeah. Nitz, yeah. I don't think Nitsage has ever met a cultist. You know, you, your players don't know. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Nitsage doesn't know. I don't. I didn't know that either. I, me or Starheart didn't. We did not know. <laughs> That's pretty gnarly. Interesting. Well, poop. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah. I mean, honestly, most of the stuff ended up coming out anyway. But he was going to be a fountain of information. Fine. And instead, it just like had to get like, hacked mm-hmm. that up. No, we're just a fountain there, of blood now. There. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Uh, Media pluck, that's a good question. What is? It's a very good question that I won't answer yet because they haven't gotten to. to What's a good question? I was, oh, couldn't as in vow of silence. I don't want to say yet. I was thinking they had their tongues cut At some point it will be answered. I don't um, know what's happening. What, what was the? Couldn't as in vow of silence, like, like they, they can't the, talk. The cultists who couldn't talk. Was oh, it a vow of silence or was it something else? Oh, we don't know. I guess we don't know that. Yeah. Uh, remember it says, Danny, does the world you created have an underdark? Um, is that like an upside down? Not exactly. No, it's more like subterranean. Um, oh, okay. Where the drow lives. <clears throat> the what? The drow, the mines. Sort there. of. Uh, there are uh, subterranean races, features. but that is not how the darker races came to be in my universe. Uh, yeah. So in my world, they are uh, the attempt of creation at a god that was meant to destroy. Yeah. So it's their attempt to either bring things back to life or create things in the image of other things that already existed because they lack the ability to do it correctly. So they come out twisted and, and weird. So like tieflings in this world are actually fallen elves that were resurrected by an, oh, elder, so cool. by an old god um, who didn't know what the fuck he was doing. <laughs> um, but I love that though. I love that, that he wanted to do, to do good, mm-hmm. but... His his being in general just but doesn't let him it do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's so that's so beautiful. That's really in a, cool. in a, in a storytelling way. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what's your favorite D and D meme? The one of Matt Mercer going, "I love D and D." Oh, I don't know. I use that one quite often. D&D favorite meme. Memes. It's a GIF. That's a GIF. That's yeah. not a meme. God, that's generally the one that is like Gary Geiger explain, and then like you oh. you do this thing, you and you roll an extra one, and you like to see the terrible consequences. Oh, funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. I've seen a lot on Reddit. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> which is all kind of about the DM's expense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of, um, this is what the DM wants. This is what the players do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. They all kind of just come down to that. Yep. <laughs> this is the, uh, all right, there's a couple that I really enjoy. Uh, one is the, oh, cool, I though. didn't ask how big the room was. I said cast fireball. Uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah. that's hilarious. 
And yes. then <laughs> this one is so pure, so pure. I, this is the the actual GM experience. Oh crap, where is it? The, I have no idea. I just have to show you guys. Come on, 4K. You can't see that shit. Um, so basically, on the top, there's somebody like it's like the face is poking out from the water, and they're like, there looks like they're drowning. And he's like, I have no idea what's going on in this campaign. And then on the bottom, it's the side view, and he's just like sitting in the water, and his face is just up, but like, he clearly could stand up if he wanted to. Oh, funny. And then all the captions like never takes notes, kills NPCs <laughs> rather than interrogating them on phone if not taking a turn in combat. Oh, <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, That's so true. Yeah. So real. Yeah, I thought that was going to be cool when I, I DM'd my first game and, and they were all kind of on their phones. And yeah, I thought it was going to be like, oh, like it's chill, like they're on their phones, whatever. But after a little bit, I was like, all right, guys, we got to put our phones away. I'm trying to tell you guys something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're asking the same question again. Like, okay, okay. I don't want to be that guy, but mm -hmm. put your phones down. <laughs> Would you put some stuff, some, I almost said seven up, but same thing. Mm. The lemon lime beverage of Ooh. carbonation. That's of course. There's a the ghost one sprite that is. You know, you probably can't see it at all, but it is a dragon and a um, like a woman being like kept on one side of the dragon, and there's a knight coming in, mm -hmm. and the knight runs past the dragon, kills the girl, and then it says at the bottom, "Stage clear to dragon rescued." <laughs> 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 that's cute. That's cute. Sarah White, that's funny. That's a funny. I gotta look at that meme. <laughs> oh Aww. no. Get Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> no thanks. I'll just kill him. Shell shock. <laughs> Shell shock. <laughs> There's something about. Someone was talking about Ninja Turtles up here. I, I told him. Was that, that like half an hour ago? That was before I was here. Uh, Valence says, uh, this is one from Stranger Things, but the kid gets told you can't play D&D &D your whole life. And shows me first. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I can't wait to see that uh, Lance animated Blizz series. Gamer says, as a DM, what direction has a character party taken that you just could not have believed and it worked for them? Hmm. There's a couple really solid examples in this game. Uh, Are there really? Me, yeah, I mean, one is... We just talked about yeah, that. Yeah, it's such as grab for power. <clears throat> he, he made this dark deal with a... Oh, yeah, uh, I never thought that would have actually... A very <laughs> dark... <laughs> you made both, sister. Um, but that's also set another chain of events into motion, which is very exciting. And then we have... Uh, I think the uh, Aura basically... Uh, having the option to take over all of Copper Forge My gosh. just through choices made by the party and, and, and the, the relationships you've formed with NPCs throughout the city. It's just it so cool that that's our for Prime Minister of Copper Forge, whatever. <laughs> Mayor, Queen. Mayor of Copper. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mayor. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I think for me, it's like, uh, I, yeah, for me, that's, that's what I... I don't even say I couldn't believe it because I feel like in D and I, I expect anything and everything, but like <laughs> it's when it lines up like that, and it's a way you never like I never planned for any of these political structures to really change. Right. Um, but now I have to, and not just political, but now like celestial, I have to worry about <laughs> the underworld and now how they're functioning on top of all this other stuff, like while Jeez. all these other deals are happening, yeah. um, which is not a that is not a bad thing. It's really fun for me because I'm like, oh, I didn't even think about that. Have like, I, I never even respect. thought to have thought about that. that. Respect. Have I done anything? I don't think. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. I, yeah. I, don't, I so. don't think I have. Listen, you don't have. Yeah. To, listen, every character doesn't have to do something. You know. No, I want to know if I've done something though. What? But I don't think I have. Let's see. You found your parents. Well, no, I think finding finding your well finding people who knew your parents. That's kind of a. But I don't know if that's. I think it's for you. Your friending before. Cord really swung a lot of that stuff around too. Oh really? Yeah, because Cord was initially going to be a hell of a lot more of a thorn in your side. Oh interesting. Um, he was designed mm -hmm. to be a problem, and he became probably your strongest ally for the. Wow. Oh no, it was very game. quick because I was trying to steal some stuff, and he helped me, and then I just. I had a beer with him or whatever. <laughs> just kind of worked out. I, I don't, Nitsip's never met Cord. Mm -mm. He was, Cord's really fun. Cord's really fun. He'll probably, he'll show up again. Tanak will show up again too. Um, art. <laughs> um, what about you, Ryan? Um, probably the campaign when we were in uh, Barovia. <laughs> Barovia? <Just> because, 
Barovia or Barovia? Barovia. 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 You know, Canadian Barovia. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the Canadian Barovia? Okay, now we're on the same page now. I understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, I that was as soon as G joined that campaign, I had absolutely no control of where that story <clears throat> ended, but it all worked out. <laughs> I think my favorite part about that campaign was putting on the musical to bait out Strahd. <laughs> yeah. They put on, like, they had rehearsals, they put on the, the musical to try and get Strahd to come down from the castle to attend That's the amazing. musical. Was it Felted Friends? Yes. Yes, and Most G, but G. G was the biggest problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that was just a funny thing. What a that fun was one thing. of my favorite things. <laughs> um, <laughs> And you, you're DMing now, so what's your favorite thing that's happened so far? That's so cool. Oh. That's so cool. Uh, the first couple minutes, my party was arguing about whether the oxen should uh, pull the cart or not, or if that was, um, you know, animal, animal cruelty. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> no, I wouldn't even say first five minutes. 10, 15 minutes, and I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go here and start a... <laughs> I have so much time now to like do other things while they're just <laughs> talking to each other. That was kind of neat. Uh, I don't know, seeing them like, seeing them like, I guess seeing players like you've created this world and like seeing them go through it. You know, I was doing out of the book. It's, I was, I'm doing Minds of Fendelver as well, too. Mm-hmm. You have everything like laid out, but just to see them like go through it, it's just like. It's really just, well, this is fun. This is what they're supposed to do. So, you know? did the oxen pull the cart? Yeah, they? they had the oxen pull the cart, but they're going to let them go once they get to their destination. They make medium wage and, uh, medium wage, minimum wage. They make they, medium they wage. Ah, uh, 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 oh, good question. I like this question. Best advice for first time attempting DM. Don't feel like you have to know everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you don't know, just make a call that night and then figure it out before the next night. Because uh, like, if you get stuck and you're just like, ah, I'm not sure if that's what that check is for, just be like, all right, for tonight we're doing that, but you know, license to change that when I do figure out what the actual rules are. Because the other thing that'll happen if you fuck up that first rule, they're like, but you let us do it last time. And then you're just like, no, fuck you. Like, that's sorry. Like, I learned better now. But, you know, just to keep it rolling. I think that's the thing. Keep it moving. Uh, yes, and your players as much as you can. But you feel free to say no. Uh, as much as this is, like, collaborative and improvisational, sometimes the things they want to happen just cannot happen because of either rules of the universe or just choices that characters yes. will make unless they're otherwise forcibly, like, you force them to change their minds. Sometimes it's just they're not going to get their way. And that's okay. And that frustration can feed into their role play later. Um, so don't feel like just because you're not giving them everything that they want that it's not it's not the end of the world it's not the end of the game if they're also newer players that frustration I think is a little heightened because they're like oh well then why am I playing if I can't do exactly what I want but mm. eventually like it's if, life, they, bitch. if they become more emotionally yes. attached to like what's happening so maybe like give more at the beginning but once they know what's happening feel free to kind of remove their wins a little bit more and really let them not struggle but challenge the players yeah. so that they want so that they have something to overcome. Um, I think that's my biggest thing. Because like I remember when I, when I tried to run it with you guys, not only was I running Minds of Fandelver, I was like building my own shit underneath it. So I was like, everyone go home and write down a dirt, like a deep, horrible secret yeah. of each of your characters. Write it down and give it to me. Because I like there's like a Nothic in yeah. that level who I made like this, like he knows all their secrets and he's oh, going to yeah, try and yeah, leverage yeah. that and all this stuff. And like, uh-huh. I shouldn't have done that shit because it never came up and we never really got there. Like, I tried to make it, I tried to force, that's the other thing, don't shoehorn shit. Like, hmm, feel free to let your ideas go. Yeah. Um, don't feel like, ah, oh, it didn't happen, so, well, yes it is! Like, it, it, because then that moment's gone, yeah. so feel free to just let it go. It can come back in another form yep. later. Um, so shelve it. Like, any idea you have, even if it doesn't work in this game ever again, you can use it for another game. Mm-hmm. Like, nothing is wasted, no creativity is wasted, it's just, all right, it didn't work this time. Um, so don't get frustrated as a DM either. It should be fun. It's a game. You're hanging out with your friends. You're having a good time. Matt Mercer's got some great DM tips uh, on YouTube as well too. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where I kind of just watched, you know, and play the game. You know, I think the more you play it, the more you get familiar with how the mechanics work of the game. And then I was super nervous when I DM'd my first game, but it was honestly just like. Eh, instead of sitting in the passenger seat, you're sitting in the driver's seat. And it's like, oh, everything is different. It's, oh, it's like a, 
I just get to turn the wheel now a little bit, you know? And so. uh, I will also say openly that you and Haley and Ryan all know the rules way better than I ever will. Right. I mean, yeah. Like, you just do. And so it's like, so I I often defer to you guys. I'm like, I literally don't know. But just tell me and we're good. But we know that ultimately you're, if you say that rule doesn't matter, then it's like, okay, then that's your, that's your game. (laughs) So. Um, I know. So you know nothing. Like, <laughs> I think, and, and this is where like matters of opinion also come into play. It's like, what do you enjoy about D and D? Yeah. Uh, so like my like when I run a game, is I try to make it as, as story and role play heavy as possible. Like mm-hmm. I, that's what I enjoy. So that's what I like to present. It doesn't mean I don't enjoy combat. I love slaughter. I love people fighting people and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's like that's where my focus is. So I think that's why rules to me most of like the the, the mechanics are secondary. As long as like we have a, a, a world and we have a way to figure out if something worked or not. Yeah. And that's that's the bare bones. And I think you can run a lot of really great games off of just bare bones D and D, knowing I probably know a quarter of the rules at this point. And so I I never play spellcasters because I'm like that's a lot of fucking work. That's a lot of reading. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think I think I like rules. I think I'm definitely more of a rule based mm. DM mm-hmm. uh, as a, in a, as a yeah. whole. Obviously, yeah, yeah. something if they've got a really cool idea, sure. it's like yes, screw the rules. Let's do what you want to do because this looks awesome. Mm-hmm. But like cool, cool. coming from like a um, sports, you know, sports background, you know, rules rules make the game. Rules are designed to keep the game you know, aligned with what needs to happen, you mm-hmm. know? So I think that's why I base myself on rules. So it's like, okay, these are, it gives a template, you know? Yeah. Um, oh, so, totally. yeah. yeah. Tips? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'd probably say never plan every step out. No. Yeah. Because uh, that will never happen. <laughs> Not even close. Your players will find one shiny thing in the room that never was even part of your campaign. Mm-hmm. Like, this is now part of the campaign. Like, great. Yes. Oh, gosh. And that, that even happens <laughs> in that the best happened. of circumstances. <laughs> so don't get frustrated when that happens. Like, yeah. I think even when the story is going great, yeah. if it's, you drop in a detail, players will latch on to it. Yeah. Like, whether it's relevant or not. And that's the other thing. Be ready to make things relevant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's another yeah. thing. So it's like, justify these things. So if they're making a choice that's out of left field to you, yeah. give them a reason. Yeah. Make it, make it, I mean, every now and then, like, yeah, it's just a rock. But, <laughs> but other times, it's like, okay, cool. Like, you're really interested in this weapon? Cool. Now it's yeah. fucking magic, like, it, for some reason. Now it's yeah. part of the story. And, and also use that it. to your advantage, because if you know that about your players, you can then be like, hey, I'm going to add extra detail about this thing that has absolutely no business to be there. But then they're going to spend the next 20 minutes while you, like, fix things. Yep. So you can just like, all right, they're going to talk amongst themselves. I'm going to go fix something. Yep. Like your unlocked door, <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, and also, like, yeah, have have where you're where you're starting, where you're kind of wanting to get to in the middle, and have an end. But apart from that, let the players take you where the story goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. And I think uh, there's lots of good advice in the chat as well going on. DKS Lurker is talking about session zeros, which I also think are important. What are session um, zeros? So session zero is like, it's like when you get together, you, you build your characters together, uh, DM kind of sets ground rules, being like, oh, hey, this yes. is what's happening. I think, I mean, so we, we didn't do it in person, but I definitely like, there was a large info dump that I sent everybody. I was like, here's a packet of information. Yeah. Here's like oh, the yeah. world <laughs> as is. Here's what I, ex- like, here's what I want. Um, but I also like, I, I'm always just looking like, you guys want, know what you want to do? The characters next because I also you know I, I want the road that they're taking to be enjoyable for them as for you guys as well. Like I what would happen if the D and D movie oh. wasn't a complete hit? Which one? <laughs> the one was like David Wayans and I would argue the blue lips. that <clears throat> Jeremy Irons was in there. Yeah, that's I, right. Yeah, I it was would, fun. It was bad, but it was fun. I would argue <laughs> that D and D has become more mainstream. Oh, oh yes. absolutely. Easily. Absolutely, because nerd culture has become has become pop culture. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see a lot of a uh, counterclash with that for some people who are very adamant of no, I hold this torch, no one else can be a gamer or a nerd or whatever oh, and they'll hold onto those monikers yeah. the, very the, strongly. The gatekeepers are still trying um, to stay there. Oh yeah, gatekeepers are gatekeeper. But um, doesn't work that way anymore. <laughs> yeah. Because there's big but jocks like me them. going, I'll punch you if you don't let me play. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Media Plex. I saw that movie, and uh, many. I used to rent it a lot, actually, because it was one of the few movies that had a freaking dragon in it. Yeah. And sometimes that's just enough to get me to watch a movie. <laughs> um, I think you know, if it if it didn't suck, I think D and D might have taken off more. But even then, it's. I think people they, still have yeah. to see a movie. They didn't really see it to play the game. I'm looking yeah. forward to the next one. Yeah. Um, well. Sorry. Yeah. A lot of times, ty- uh, movies that are based on games or that they already have a strong fandom, and yeah. so they're not always necessarily catering to everyone else. Yeah. Um, and the times that they do try to cater to the broader audience, that's when you get the huge lashback yeah. from the people who have been fans of whatever franchise for yeah. eons. Yeah. I think I think Warcraft had a little bit of that problem. Warcraft had, yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed. It wasn't great, but I enjoyed it. It was it was beautiful. It, it was I yeah, it was, it. it was a very pretty, decent fantasy yeah. movie. And but I they, think I, if you didn't go in knowing any Warcraft yeah. like lore or shit, it yeah. was it was satisfying to me. It wasn't yeah. like I'm like I'm not gonna go and buy this, but I'm like I, sure. I didn't have a bad time. No, I I also just the the effects mm. and the. The, the orcs and everything and just blew yeah. my mind. Um, yeah. well, this I'm, was the guy, this was the movie with the blue guy with the blue lips, right? The, the same D and D movie, probably. I think so. There were two. I only saw the first one. And it's been so long. <laughs> I don't remember. Because that's what I want to go to as, as, as Halloween. I want to go as the blue lipped hmm. bad guy. <laughs> now I'm thinking of the Witcher. <laughs> God, I'm so excited. I don't care if he's only got one sword right now. He'll get a second, and he'll put it on his back, and I'll be okay. <laughs> Roach exists. I'm okay. We're okay. Hey, what's the Discord? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, hi, friends. You may join our Discord at any time here. Let me just... So dis- uh, our Discord is basically like our social hub. So it's... Um... Does, is, that, is this not the chat that we're on? So, no, so the chat is the chat for Twitch. App. So that's when we're it's live. It's an app? Yeah. I don't have it's any more app. apps. You can have it on your computer, too. Like yeah. I, I, so have, I have it on my computer. I have it up right now. Pull it up. This Pull is up it. Right this is the so Discord. This is a big so we have different I'll threads. We have threads for... And so I have one for my... One guild. This is for another. <laughs> this is, is Perception best. Studio. <laughs> is, this, so is this through Twitch? No, it's uh, through it's, Discord. It's a different company, but it's linked to Twitch. It, yeah, I think Twitch is a parent company. Now. Ours is a little but overstuffed. We still have to do some pruning. Mm. And so, like for me, I've muted almost everything. Sorry, guys, I've muted almost everything. Just because I don't like getting notifications, I, I so I only check have sounds like a I, I really, like, I'll go, go back to it first. and realize I have like so this 10 is that. private messages. What are you trying I'm to like, do? Oh um, dear. Sarah, Sarah put up a meme for me on the Discord. Yes, it is in the general um, chat. It's oh, it's in general. It's the Jar Jar one. What is the general chat? Is it called general? What is it called? It's called general chat. What is it? What is it under? Go back to that one. Hang on. It's its own thread on the left. This is, we are in this. Oh. (laughs) What was the the picture? I just saw pictures. Yes. So. Mediaplex says, Discord (laughs) is similar to Slack. Does that help? No. Helps me. Okay, so (laughs) this is the picture. This is the icon for perception. Yeah, that's where we, stay in this one. No, this is where we just were. I know. It's, they, they. No, 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 no. This is, no, the last message in this one Uh was from the fourth. So Which this one? is not. We have this is channels. not. They're looking. Yeah. So these are each channels. Well, so go to Solomon's so, Legacy. That's no, no, no. no. That's what we're in, in right now. Chat. We're in Solomon's Legacy. <laughs> and the last. Do you message now was understand why I don't know what Discord <laughs> okay, is? So see here. Here we go. General chat. So I'm going to click on general, general chat. Left. So see. Now I'm going to go here. Here's the meme that she was talking. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, Sharp Step. How's it going, friend? We're teaching Discord to just... Listen. <laughs> listen. There's some things oh. in this oh. nerd world that I... Best way to break it down from Jose. It's, right. a, it's a giant, multi-branched forum. So it's just a place to go. That and makes yeah. a lot of sense. It's different yeah. chat rooms for different stuff. Great. Yeah. That is... Um, but it's that also, is a really good explanation. It's where fun. we keep everybody updated on, like, everything that we're doing. So, like, <laughs> if you're ever working on something or you want to, like, you know, just, like, drop a channel, whatever, we have, like... A thread called your stuff so it's like anything that anybody's working on any of us any any of the people watching right now if you're like hey like i'm really passionate about this or like we have people who like make pens we have people who make Ooh, all kinds of stuff like if you're makers too. if you're creators performers whatever whatever you're working on <laughs> drop stuff in that thread um 
We have like a thread for questions, for, for show suggestions. Oh, um, that's pretty neat. Oh, we can I keep track of the games we've played on stream. Yeah, stuff. yeah, you should. Because yeah, now you can. Remember now that time I, I almost talked about it and I didn't realize it? I oh, forgot I wasn't no, supposed I to. <laughs> so Diva's a badass. Uh, thank no. you for the sub, Lance Blizz Gamer. Uh, so Diva, tell us why you're a badass. Yeah. I like chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. So, so I have a game coming out on Friday, or I don't have a game. There's many people have that game. have a game. I, I, I voice it. someone in a game. Okay. Um, and the game is Fire Emblem Three Houses, and the parent company is Nintendo, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, my gal is cute, and I can't really say a whole lot other than I, I voice her. Um, and <laughs> I can say that you can romance her. Oh, <laughs> there you go, it, it, checkers. It's, it's public knowledge in, in different things, and so you can, um, mm. but her name is Flane, F-L-A-Y-N, Flane. Flane. She is, um, she's really sweet. She's just, um, compassionate and very curious, almost to a fault. <laughs> like a cat. Kind of. Friends call her whiskers. What's, what, how do you spell her name again? Um, F L A Y N. Flane. I put a picture. Flan. I've there been finding is. a lot of fan art that's really sweet. Um, oh, okay. Give it a week before wear, it gets real creepy. I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> so this is. <laughs> oh, yeah, you posted this picture of her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was putting we go oh, here. Fun. I've dropped a She's link to cute. an image of, of her character. She's very <laughs> sweet. There's, there's some. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I am. <laughs> Everyone's screaming. <gasps> He's like, yeah, I'm part of this thing. You might have heard of it. What? <laughs> no, it's, 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 a, it's. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the children were screaming. <laughs> they were screaming. <laughs> I, it's funny because sometimes I'm, I'm a, I've, I have a few video games that I've worked on. And I, <laughs> but I, I, I'm so afraid that I'm not actually in it. Like it's that imposter syndrome thing. Mm. And so I found a clip of, um, I think it's considered the prologue, um, of the of the game or some, something or other. And <laughs> what some? Um, and so I, I found, I was listening to it to see on the airplane like before we took off because I was in Scotland when mm. I got an email like I got a message saying okay Nintendo's giving you the okay this is what you can say these are all the things you can't say and so I'm like do 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 and then what was I saying yeah <laughs> what are you finding That's out about well man yeah mm. fun Oh, but then, but I heard her, and it was me, and I'm yeah. like, okay, it is, it is me. Oh, fun! That's so fun. It's, I haven't been recast or anything. It's one of those fears of like, oh. maybe they don't like me because oh. I'm a terrible person. I don't know. But you did it. I did it. And you're in there. It's exciting. Yeah. Now, what's the game? What's the game called? Fire you? Emblem Three Houses. And where do you play that at? Uh, Switch. Oh, I play Nintendo. it on your Switch because Nintendo. Um, I. Everything was explained to me in the booth via Harry Potter. Okay. <laughs> Harry Potter explained things to you? Because it's three houses. Right. Uh -huh. and so, obviously not four houses, but three houses. And so anything that was trying to be explained to me within the world, the director used Harry Potter terminology. Oh, oh I see, I see. <laughs> For me to understand, I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. Yeah. Is it, is it dumb to ask if there's like a fire emblem one and two as well? I think this is the 14th. Yeah, 13th or 14th. Gotcha. I, I had no idea how long this had been existing for, but it's been for many, many, many years. 16. Dang. Interesting. 16 fire emblems. Honestly, I don't know anything about these characters other than that they showed up in Smash Brothers. I'm like, you're taking up space. <laughs> but now I'm going to play it because he was in it. Oh, yeah, the yeah. mobile game is uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, I think. It's the gotcha. mobile game. Support Ooh. friends. Here's a question. Uh, DKS Lurker asks, uh, Danny, how much time do you allocate to prepping for your game? <laughs> and since this is a world you are creating, do you find yourself making additions to it on the fly, or do you try to stay close to what you have already set in your mind? Um, there are certain... I kind of, like... There. Okay. In my brain... <laughs> my brain's a weird place. So imagine, <laughs> like... 
a big flat like my all right the, the way my <laughs> flames flames <laughs> uh, so the way I figured like as this world is expanding sure. and growing and all that no, stuff no, no, like I, I have a lot of pins with a palace. Yes, Sorry, we'll be quiet. So I have a lot. I have a lot of like like pins that I put up, and those are temporary. Like these are the things that I would like to happen. But then I have a few like fucking railroad spikes that are just driven into the ground. Those do not move. Those stay. Um, so like Copper Forge is a railroad spike, and there's a few other places <coughs> you haven't been yet or heard of yet that are right. other spikes. And then there are mm. plot points that are also spikes, but mm. so much of it is also pins. And then it's like connecting all those things. Um, I don't know if I'm answering any questions here, but all, all, all I'm picturing. Is the Lemony Snicket's web of like? It's what it feels like. Uh, and they're asking how many, how much time do you allocate for each wow. session? Wow, it widely I'm varies. Just into um, us. The first several <laughs> sessions, hours. Um, and I like so I use OneNote to keep track of everything. I think I've talked about this before. So I used to have an entry for every single week. Um, and I would. I don't know if anyone can see any of this stuff. So like from week yeah. one all the way down like down to NPCs like I have the map here I have deep lore like adventure logs which I was never filling out, um, and then these are also empty but I, yeah I started tracking around week five so it's like there is there are things that you all need to know there's yeah. things that I need to remember characters that pop up uh, characters that are oh, recurring that. that are important I always keep track of um, and then during in each of those weeks I have drop downs so these are the oh. relevant NPCs that show up at any given time in that one yeah, um, so like, so like, glasses. well, let's let's dissect week five for a minute. So I knew that the characters that were going to be there were going to be Arden Barlow, Urit Sile, Captain Grant. No, he never fucking showed up. He didn't show up until way later. Yeah, way later. <laughs> but you all were initially. Uh, so here's another thing where it completely deviated from uh, from what I initially expected. I thought. I thought that everyone was going to go chasing after the ship, so I was expecting yeah. a lot more. Uh, I wanted. Sea trail. I, Why not? I need to Which, say I wanted this to is, chase this after is the ship. This is where we were back I, in. I didn't, uh, I didn't want. I, I like I this is not Copper Forge. Forge. This is in Ralfel. Oh, this is Ralfel. Oh, oh. So, yeah. Oh, so in Ralfel, um, Grant I, I, was yeah. at the docks. He even met his first mate, or Tanok met his first mate at some point. Um, and so, like, I had, I had already prepped, like, those outs, like, those story outs, um, but I figured, like, but I was always ready. It's like, if they don't go that way, then they're going to go that way, and if they don't go that way, then they're going that way. So I had three hmm. three outs from Ralphel where you could have gone, and you all went Copper Forge instead of West, um, which is, I mean, which is perfectly fine. But so, like, I had Arden Barlow, Urtzile, Captain Grant, uh, another character who still has not really shown up, um, Cord, Jarrett, Reldwin, Camden, Plara, Plara's dead now, um, and hey. Lydon Sanglass also dead now. Um, so those are that's really all I track anymore before a game, and I, I do it all. So on the fly, I, I every night I use my my notebook, just pen and paper, um, and I do. So like again, I like I track down exactly who I know I'm using, who can come up, who can show up. Uh, locations and names because I forget names really easily. I'm always asking Justin like, what, 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 what were they called? Um, so on one side I do story and I track. Um, sometimes I track initiative on the side, but I generally will do damage and stuff on the blank back page here. Gotcha. Um, hey, Katie says hi. Hey, she misses hi, Katie. us. We miss you. I miss, miss you. you. I'm gonna type it out, but I miss her. <laughs> um. But I mean, there have been nights where I've come here and I was panicking because I had no time to prep, like zero, none, throughout the week, throughout the day. I came here with nothing and those turned into some of the best games because like I wasn't overthinking it. I wasn't worried about it and it went great. Other times I overprepared, like I would sit at home for two and a half hours, like planning exactly what I wanted to happen. And then, you know, it's like I had this, all these beats and then you guys go, pew, like off this way. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. why did I even do that? Like, why did I beat myself up? But at the same time, those things that didn't happen, I still get to use later. Can um, I say that I just love the name Arden Barlow? Arden Barlow. Thank you. I, like I didn't know. I didn't know my wife. It's a rolly boat. My wife. I was like, who's Golden Eye Stone? Like, it's Haley. Okay, I don't know that Haley. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Or a stone. That's funny. I know. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, oh, here's another good question. Good night. Oh, good night. Valid. So here's another question. So time is fluid in your world, so that means the NPCs in your game 
Ah, ah Nerdsmith, thank you for the raid. Uh, hi, fellow friends. We're actually doing a Q and A tonight because uh, of traffic and stuff. We weren't able to start the game game, but we are answering lots of D and D questions. So we are Nerdsmith. The folks, you guys who just raised us, thank you. Uh, are also wonderful fellow D and D players. We're gonna be chatting with them again soon about uh, some sort of collaboration. Uh, we did a show with them earlier, and we'd love to do some more with you guys. So we'll. They're all we'll keep also very that. charming rats. <laughs> Yay, charming <laughs> rats! Have a pack of charming rats. <laughs> Um, so thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about Sons that, Legacy or anything about Perception Studio, feel free to, to chuck it in. This is, this is like oh, a very open q and It's all good. Oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> so, finishing DKS Lurker's question was, uh, so that means NPCs in your game are in constant flux in the world while your players are moving on their journey, mm. so they may actually miss running into some of the side quests you have set up. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Leaving Ralphle when they did meant a lot of things are changing while they're gone. Um, and in the state that they left it in with Uret Sile. And here's the other thing is like, you know, currently that there is a hit out, like, there is, there's a hit out on Earth, uh, yeah. the governor's head. Um, oh, that, shit. that can succeed or that can <laughs> fail. And depending on how that, happens, go. <laughs> that can topple that entire city or, or change how things function, who your friends and enemies are, all that kind of stuff. Wait, did you say. Hmm. Sorry, say that one more time. There's what on his head? A hit. I knew this. There's a hit out on him. I feel like you could kill him before him. No, we don't want to. I don't want to kill him. No, he's a don't good you guy. need to kill people, though? <laughs> I'm not. This is Diva trying to help you, not Sam. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't, <laughs> want, to, we don't want to kill you him. Mr. Fry. You just got us Thank up. you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, but, yeah, uh, but yeah, absolutely. So we were talking about that earlier, though, where it's like consequences always happen in this game through action or inaction. There, yeah. there will be an effect whether you do something, don't do something, do it well, or do it yeah. poorly. Well, um, still turns. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I think that's one of my favorite things about D&D's type storytelling. It's like, if, I, if I'm planting a seed, I'm gonna let that sucker grow unless it is like extinguished. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that's still happening. Like, there's some characters you guys haven't heard of in a long while that are still hopping around and doing stuff. Like who? I'm not gonna tell you. You said that we haven't heard in a long while, so we sure have did. heard of them. I've got notes on them. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, I've got notes. I probably have something. Uh, let's see. How did the felted friends come about? Well, uh, we'll just, uh, so, a good chunk of us here at Perception Studio are former uh, Disney puppeteers. Um, so it kind of, it's just a random skill that we all happen to have. So it's like, how do we do what we want to do? And then also take what we do uniquely and apply that to a thing that we'll all have fun doing. And Great. that's kind of, that's idea. how that happened. Then Cucumber was partying around before. Yeah, Cucumber and Chunk. Chunk is actually the oldest of the Felted Friends uh, build-wise. Uh, so Chunk's been around for a while, and he he had, he was on another like web series for a bit, and then Cucumber was built initially. Let's just drop the fiction for a minute. So I built <laughs> Cucumber to be an audition puppet, um, and then I just got gigs with him. So we did like stuff with the iOS, which was really fun with Chunk and Cucumber uh, before that died. Um, <laughs> we did like two shows there with G. Um, and that, that defined who Cucumber was, was, was that show. Because initially he was going to be a very sweet, almost like somber character. Hmm. And then he was an asshole and he stayed an asshole forever <laughs> because it just, it felt right. Like once you started messing Fun. with him, you're like, that's, that's who he is. Cucumber. Yeah. Well, here's, here's the thing is you talk about like building them, but in my head, it's, it's hard for me to think of them as being built and not being just like birthed, birthed from the <laughs> felted world yeah. of fuzz. You could think of it that way. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate that. It's very like that much so, doing her job. you know, like when it, it's like if you, when you see the behind the scenes and you see the green screen or you see how they break down different things, I'm like, no, 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 don't show me that. I, I, I know that exists, but I want to yeah. keep the, the belief. And so whenever I, so that's why there was an image of all of you guys with um, with the puppets and then you were all crouched down for yeah. a picture. Mm -hmm. And I just had to like cover up the bottom because I'm like I can't I can't acknowledge that I need to just just have the I'm such a child. Oh, was that was that Michelle's post? I think it was. Should be yeah. Made. But uh, I, I I yeah no I appreciate very much what you guys do. Thank you. Oh, that's um, great idea. Nerdsmith, if you want to meet Cucumber in person, we're bringing the Felted Friends to TwitchCon. Every time a baby. And we're going to have a booth at. Tell me the right con because I'm gonna fuck it up. What? Sorry. What, what are you having a booth what at? What con do we have a booth at? Oh, Long Beach Comic Con. We're going to have a booth at Long Beach Comic Con. Your local. Sorry. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, we will. Jose, that's right, because I'm a professional. <laughs> Maybe we'll even play like a quick game of something. Oh. Rumor Bart says, Ryan, how do you plan around running for the Felted Friends? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you go back far enough, I you can see don't. the exact episode where his soul is crushed forever. <laughs> <laughs> the light goes out of his eyes. No, um, <laughs> honestly, like, like how I was saying um earlier about like dn tips most of them i learned because of the felted friends that's true uh, you were and when we started very inflexible and yeah. you have learned to go with the flow because of severe <laughs> storytelling <laughs> beatings we gave you. uh fennec wolfchild asks how long have all of you been doing ttrpgs about as long Two as years. we've been up and running yeah we that's played like a couple tabletop. sessions before we started streaming and that's it um so uh, yeah about three three years three years two years old. two years Ooh. no we've got to be Two. We've beaten two. A little over two. We're yeah. not three yet. We're not three. Okay. Deadly Nightshade has a good question. Mm. Has Perception Check ever thought about doing an event at the Dragon and Meeple? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, we have. Sorry, I don't mean to come out like that. But yeah. No, I would love to. I love that location. I love the guys who run it. What's and the I want to support them. It's a place in LA. It's right across the street from USC. Uh, it is a tabletop heaven place. Yeah. Um, so the front it's very half large. is a it's bunch of really large. big tables to play games at. And mm. there's a giant wall of 400 plus games that you can borrow. It's $5 a head Fun. Uh, to just yeah. rent the games and play. But in the back, there's a game store. So you can buy games there. Fun. They also have a full kitchen. Oh. Um, and they have, really um, they have uh, beer and wine on tap. Well, probably the you said full kitchen. Tap. I was like, oh, so I can bring and cook for people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, they have like a menu, like they. So it's, like, it's not like nachos. I mean, oh, sure they have them, but yeah, like you can get like food. a decent, you can get a good burger. Oh, there how fun! And, uh, a good burger. Dragon and Meeple. Yeah. Oh, good oh, burger. Good burger. <laughs> oh, how fun! Um, yeah, we just found yeah. yeah. uh, I know Satine does a lot of stuff over there right now, um, and I would love to do stuff. I gotta, I gotta figure it out. Um, but we should. We totally should. Yeah. And anything we can do to help them, because I want them to stay open forever. Yeah. It is like I love, I love that place. There, it's very. For <laughs> We also we're also wanting to go to the Requiem in Irvine. Oh yeah, yeah so that's yeah. a cafe that, that just opened just up recently, jumps. right? Yeah, yeah. Fun. I think I was a, a Kickstarter. No, I was gonna say I'm like I'm pretty sure it was a background for Kickstarter, but I, yeah. That There's a smaller place, place that we just found called Geeky Tees in North Hollywood. Oh yeah. 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 The geeky, geeky Tees. Geeky tees. Uh, ooh, Thurst. Thurst? Thursday? Thurst. Thurst. Look at these, Thurst. Thurst. Look at these Thurst. solid <laughs> questions from DK Slicker. Uh, as entertainers, do you find that D&D improves your improv skills <laughs> yes. as well as other social abilities, yeah. like granting you mm -hmm. insight on personalities that are much different than your own? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I think the improv thing, absolutely. Like, you, you have to listen to play this game well. And just like, it's just like improv. You have to listen to play those games well or, or do those scenes well. Because yeah. uh, you're not listening, you're going to fuck it up. Um, but then also, like, you know, acknowledging and respecting whatever is coming your way uh, and then adding to that. So very much so, yeah. So, like, yes, improv, but also take improv and it'll make your games better, too. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it'll be a lot more fun. No, I've no, no. never Thoughts. taken an improv class, but I maybe I should. I don't know. I feel like I, I do all right. I feel everyone should. It is like totally yeah, I think everyone yeah. should play D&D. No, it is, it, <laughs> it is, it is very social, therapeutic. Really. Yeah. Um, I feel that there's... I'm just going to go back up to that question. I feel like a lot of this question for me personally ties in with the camera because we don't have a disassociation with this game being just with a group of friends or you know around a coffee table there's also the element of there are people watching and so there's an expectation as well that we also need to be entertaining mm. people as well as entertaining each other mm -hmm. um but i it helps you to rise to that entertainment level as well too or, or to the sure. story to well the story. for me i I don't settle in until about a half an hour th mm -hmm. when we're playing every time because mm -hmm. I'm I'm too nervous and babbly even though I'll have you know like when I came up with Vothia I was carpooling with Danny and I had this whole idea and I was super excited and I was talking in her voice and it was very like <laughs> serious actor and then coming in here I'm like ah, na, 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 na. Um, no 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 <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, what was the rest of that question? It, I don't think I answered I've, that at I've all. I've been taking uh, mocap classes yeah. here recently, and uh, you have to basically see everything around you. Mm. And, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, when you're doing this and, and know your character and, and you know, if, if you're wearing a shirt, you know, and you're, you can be like, oh, this, this shirt has a cuff on it, but you know, you don't, you're wearing a suit and that, but like that kind of detail, mm. playing D&D helps with that because it lets yeah. you see everything, um, you know, I, yeah. I have yeah. another thought with it. Um, because when I came up with Starheart, I had a very different idea in mind. Like some of the bones are there was that she was a, a cleric, um, but was more of a, I can't think of another word other than rogue, but not the class, just more of the mentality. Mm. Um, and so I wanted her to be a bit more shifty and miss, not, <clears throat> Hello. Um, but I just a little bit more mischievous. Um, and I bled into the character a great deal. I'm not an alcoholic by any means, but I but Diva bled into it. And I think um, there's a part of any character that you ever play where a part of you comes in, and that's what makes it unique. Yeah. Um, but also what I found interesting is letting myself leave the reins for a bit like the like the one time when it's getting if finding that the character just gets so smashed all the time and then forgets all this information that she just learned I'm like no I want to retain that it's like well I can't yeah, yeah. which is <laughs> it's, it's interesting seeing you come from like a, oh I want to go and hit something oh wait I'm meek and squishy <laughs> shall I answer that or did I answer That's that That's for you did uh D. K. Lurker, seeing that you came, you come from a theater background. Does D and D improve any of the skills that you've already attained or help polish them? Yeah. Um, I think most of us come from a theater background, I, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it terrible if I say it doesn't? I feel mm -hmm. that the stronger thing is it helps my, um, just my kind of social skills and comfortability with people yeah. because I am a terribly shy person <laughs> and says the person on the stream um, <laughs> I'm very shy and I'm very quiet but this forces me to be yeah. less so and so it's less learning how to act better or whatever but more mm. the, the interpersonal relationships which I find very valuable mm. yeah. oh I got a heart fun yeah. Oh, and he's expounding on that question with, as far as knowing that uh, you're creating a character instead of interpret instead of interpreting one that's already written. What what what? So as a skill, like as far as knowing that you are creating this character instead of interpreting one that's already written down. So like scripted versus like you're oh. improvising nonstop while you're up here. I think is the, the question. Like building that. It's skill. like one long ass improv game is what it is. <laughs> it's like okay, I found a character. I have to stick with it. I can't change halfway through. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna piggyback on that if you don't mind. So even with even with already um, characters uh, like written out for you, and I'll, and I'll just go back to uh, mocap. You know, from the very basic stuff that I'm learning. You know, you have a picture of what you're looking at, and now you have to come up with all the flaws, the traits, you know, the movement of this character, you know, or, or even like the voice and stuff. Didi really helps you out with that. Uh, and I'm sure as a, as a DM, you have to do many characters and get into their minds immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, even if they're a throwaway character or a character that you've, you know, railroaded in as one of your, you know, uh, main people, so yeah. Just everyone just play D and D. Just that's, the, that's everyone just play D and D. That's it. <laughs> Bottom line. <laughs> it's the best game. Done day. <laughs> I, yeah, I know that a lot of like I've always been decent with like voices, but I I think I've gotten better with characters since taking improv. I think like actually having them be more fleshed out, have more behind their brains. Because like I was a theater kid, but I also didn't stick with it very long. Um, I mean, professionally, I've been performing a long time, but I never, like, did the groundwork first, so I feel like I'm working backwards. Like, I got a bunch of gigs, and now I'm like, now how did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's fun. But, yeah, I think it, keep, it keeps me sharp, and it yeah. makes me happy. Flexes that brain ball muscle. 
Uh, Ruben Bard asks, I've just got to ask while I got a chance, when whoever does the Skinless <laughs> Joe voice to just kill their vocal cords, the answer is sometimes. Who is Skinless Joe? He's the bartender. He lives under the table. Yeah. He's Cucumber's ward. Oh, I was... <laughs> I thought I missed something very <laughs> important to this... Mm. Campaign yeah, of campaign. evenings. Yeah. I think okay. it's the worst when he has to either sing or when he gets DM powers. That's when yeah. it's the roughest. But it's also <laughs> really minute. fun. So May it's not I that hear bad. a little bit? Oh, I'm going to go down. <laughs> Under the table. Hey, everybody, I'm skinless Joe. Oh, that's so bad for your <laughs> Isn't it, though? Oh, <laughs> though. so bad. Just imagine him doing that for a full minute. No. 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 <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's so fun. Uh, DK Slurker. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. I'm just happy to be here playing. Mm. Ask more questions, people. She says <laughs> sweetly. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like them nodes, though. Not yet. Probably Dem everyone. Skinless <laughs> Joe has made a cameo. The uncredited cameo where you're like, that person was in the thing. Sarah, Favorite. that's really cool that your your DM can do that. That's just, yeah, she's just flexed that muscle so well that she's able to to do that easily. Mm, here's all the questions. Favorite mm. video game to play? Favorite video game? Vi video? Favorite video game to play currently or favorite game? Ever. To play. To play. So to play. So that is what am I enjoying most in this moment? I get very specific when I answer questions. Right now, like it's mean. Stardew Valley for me because oh. I'm so stressed out all the time. Honestly, just fucking watering those plants is just like. Oh. Who are yeah. you? Who are you romancing? Are you romancing nobody? Oh, I'm focusing on the me. farm. Okay, this is okay, my that's journey. Fine, that's fine. That's fine. Town. No, okay. I, I'm really focusing on, on like serving the little spirits and giving them their little oh, the, the, the gifts the, the, and stuff. It's like, I, I give Jumbles? those people gifts, Jum but they're like, Jum thanks. Or then I piss off the homeless guy. I'm like, listen, man, I just tried to give Jum you a fish. I don't know. <laughs> I drew one. Junimos! Junimos! <laughs> Junimos. I drew a green one, and it was holding its hands up, and there was a little heart. <laughs> Favorite animals? Capybara. Oh. Otter. That's a good one. I love otters. I love otters. <laughs> Careful. That's a Carrot good top? Caracol. They have wicked ears. Yeah, right? What? I can't choose cat. a favorite animal. Oh, of course it's a cat. <laughs> I don't uh, have a favorite video hey, game. What's... <laughs> <laughs> still working. It was still working. Oh, some we'll let you, we'll let you ruminate. Uh, what's your favorite project you've ever worked on? Ooh. Question for the whole panel. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Well. Oh, I need. I. Can you say what kind of project? Yeah. Oh, this. I need. I need to narrow it down. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna. Okay. okay I'll get myself. Okay. Fire emblem. Okay. No. 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 That's not what I meant. <laughs> uh. For me, it was the most, one. Of, uh, I think it's my favorite because it was one of the most validating um, because up until that point, I'd only performed to track. I never really got to do my own voices for puppet stuff. Uh, I did a short called Herman um, where I was puppeteering a loaf of bread, but I also got to provide the voice, which was really cool uh, to me. So I was like the lead in this little, it was like a Subway web series. It was for a competition from, uh, USC and mm. that was like my first thing was like okay like I can actually do this and like I needed that to like keep going and because I was at a point where I think I would have tried something else at that point and I was like cool do that and then since then I got like another web series and I was like yes but I felt like I felt like I like, okay I can do the thing mm. um, so that was that was really fun uh, I did a show called <laughs> Bill and Ted's Excellent Halloween Adventure <laughs> 2012 at Universal Studios Hollywood. There's <laughs> videos up there. Look it up. I loved it. It took me back to when I was in theater, and you know, uh, I had to do stunts. I was, I, I played Bane and had to fight Batman, yeah. and I danced as one of the Magic Mike Fireman guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was super fun. Nice. Um. I think probably the favorite project I worked on so far was the one with uh, Kim Harper, mm. um, where I got to build the little mind device. Um, oh, nice! Yeah, uh, trackers. 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 Oh yeah, 
No. 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 no, no, no. Karma no. Club. Karma, Karma Club. Club. That's yes. right. We did checkers. We did checkers. Yeah. <laughs> we did Karma Club. I did a fight yeah. scene, y'all. <laughs> Um, Who'd you fight against? Oh, you, fought, you must have fought against Kim I fought, then. Yeah, I fought Kim. Because you were the main bad guy, weren't you? Yeah, we fought, yeah, we fought <laughs> against a car. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. That's right. Um, but yeah, I actually have Y'all a made couple me. of photos of it on my DeviantArt page. Um, that you can go look that up if you want to see what I built for her. Um, and it works. Like, you twist the thing and lights go around in a circle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really fun. I remember that. So when I was a kid, before I knew what the word deviant meant. Uh-huh. I thought it was deviant tart. <laughs> deviant tart. Aww, like delicious tarts. tarts. Mm. Mm. The old deviant tart. That's when I was a wee lass. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of my favorite. Um, hmm. I there's been a. It's all for me. Everything's tied in my interactions, like backstage and just with the people I'm with. Um, I did a show called Rumors. That's such a fantastic show. If you ever have a chance to see Rumors, see Rumors. Mm. Um, and I did that, and the memories I have because of what was going on in my personal life and being in that show, mm. it was so healing with it because it's comedy and it's farce. Um, just say Fire Emblem. Give it the, it's Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh my God, please, it's amazing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Here's... Sarah White says, any of you with allergies except Ryan want to try my allergy challenge? I'll follow your restrictions for a week if you can do mine for 24 hours. Bet you can't. I bet you I can't. Like, I, I'm good with my one, man. Yeah, like, I don't I, want to. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know there wasn't allergies. I wish I challenge. could oh eat gosh. ice cream and not die. Mm. Ooh, DKS Lager says, favorite actor and favorite scene that inspired you to get into acting? Ha. <sighs> um, ha. I don't I can't. I don't have a favorite actor, and I don't want to cop out of that answer, but I feel like part of what makes me want to be an actor is the fact that there are so many different types of people mm-hmm. doing it for a living. Um, but one of my heroes, uh-huh. uh, as far as just straight up acting, is uh, Gary Oldman. Gary ah! Oldman! Oh. Oh, thanks for the rain! We're just answering questions. Thanks, man. Those are our animated tune friends. They're fabulous. We saw Reggie at, at Comic Con very briefly. Hey, hey. Reggie. Hi, Chewie. Hi, Dunk. Hi, friends. Um, but yeah, so we, we're not doing D&D tonight. We're just talking about D&D and answering questions and doing stuff like that. We're <laughs> chilling and hanging. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. So the current question is, um, 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 I just lost it. Um, who's your favorite actor? Favorite what actor, what scene? scene inspired you? Oh, you said yeah. Gary Oldman. I, Gary Oldman, because oh, he's a he's chameleon, and I love that. I love character actors. They're my favorite people to watch. I love the people who just disappear. Like, uh, I love that shit. And, and voice actors. So it's like, I think when I found out that Mark Hamill was the Joker, that was when I was like, I want to do cartoons. Mm. Um, when I found out, like, that there was someone under Kermit, I want to be a puppeteer. Actually, Gonzo, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, that, that kind of stuff. I don't know. It's like the people who, who, who show you that it's possible, those are my favorites. She didn't know that Chewie is a huh. demon. I <laughs> saw the movie Terminator 2 when I was six. And I watched that movie every day because my buddy across the street, his parents like um, they burned VHSs over there watching movies and some of that. So I, I got it before it came out on, on uh, video. Um, and I watched it every day, and I wanted to be the Terminator so bad. <laughs> so I'd go out in the yard and put just guns everywhere in my <laughs> shirt and pants and just go and kill bad guys on the roof and the trees. I was like, I, I want to be the Terminator. So, oh, well, that's an actor. Okay. I still want to be the Terminator. So that's what I really I, I want to be. I, I want to be an imaginative character. You know, I wanted to be a character. So that's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger isn't my favorite actor, <laughs> but he is an icon mm-hmm. that I uh, dearly look up to. I mean, who doesn't like Arnold? Uh, I'd say Hugh Jackman now is my. Oh, I mean, he's just uh, well-rounded in oh so many, goodness. so many different things. Uh, Thank you for gifting that. Yeah. Song. So Appreciate Hugh Jackman, but is my favorite character, but. Terminator, Terminator 2 is what uh, what launched me to want to be. Hugh Jackman is your favorite character. Uh, Hugh Jackman is my favorite <laughs> actor. <laughs> Triple Life threat, characters. man. Hugh Jackman is no Seriously. joke. True, true. He's man's a, a machine. Yeah. Annual list. <laughs> 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 Refine. 
It's <laughs> uh, here's a media plaque has a question. Ever have a party try to kill your unkillable, uh, i.e. VIP NPCs? What do you do besides fudge the dice? I don't. If they if they do it, they do it, and then I get to bitch about it to myself <laughs> later and solve the problem elsewhere. Oh dang! I I, I think. I very rarely fudge dice if I can help it. Um, I've, I've only done it, I think, twice on this show, and I won't ever tell you when I did it. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I think it's fun. I like I like legitimate danger. And yeah, anybody can die, because they're all just people in this When'd world. When'd you fudge yep. the dice, Danny? When'd I'll you fudge the dice? Never gonna When'd you fudge the dice, Danny? Never gonna tell When'd you fudge the dice? <laughs> Danny? Roll, roll for persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, did you answer your, about your favorite actor? I didn't. I don't know if we want to keep moving because there's so many questions. Yes, true. So That's I'm, a good one. It'd be a good one. Oh. <laughs> it's such a cop. Oh, I don't know if oh, I... Oh, it came full circle. What? Don gifted uh, Dirty Habanero his first sub in the channel. Dirty Habanero just gifted Don oh. his sub. No, 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 no. Cute. We came Darren back again. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> ha 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 ha
Uh, but hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, Chewy, watch the Mr. Rogers, man. Yeah. I, I saw a meme. I feel uh, like watching that as an adult would be so... Heartbreaking. Delightful? No, just so... I am doing okay in life. <laughs> yeah, I you know. Um, but no, so what it was, was uh, it was a picture of Steve Rogers and Mr. Rogers next to each other. Oh, and yes. it was uh, Miss, uh, Steve, when he went back in time, instead of becoming a hero again, he decided to fund uh, a small publicly accessed channel uh-huh. and teach everyone uh, like truth, justice, oh, righteousness, funny. and better self, and he becomes Mr. Rogers. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, yeah. oh. That's so funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, my my favorite thing about Mr. Rogers was always when he would like take you to a factory, because now we have like how it's made and mm-hmm. stuff, but mm-hmm. Mr. Rogers was the first time I ever remember seeing like behind the scenes on stuff, mm. and then like Reading Rainbow did the same thing, and yeah, that was actually another moment where I was like being an actor is possible. It was the Reading Rainbow where they went behind the scenes on Next Generation, because mm. like oh. it was like so it was everybody good getting memory. into makeup. They showed up. I wa- I had that one taped. Oh, <laughs> I was fun. very excited. Um, they um, but like they showed you how they did like the beam up effect. They showed you how like it was just like you know fucking mm-hmm. glitter in a jar, and they <laughs> it was like Michael Dorn like walking to his trailer and then they're putting makeup wow. on him and then when he was done he was like being a ham you know kicking the doors like, I take large steps and like, marching around and shit <laughs> ah, maybe so happy fun but, but yeah. I think I, I'm trying to remember the age in which I realized that you didn't have to have the same actor for the same character because mm. I remember watching the secret there was one version I think there were like three versions of Secret Garden that came out around the same time but there were mm-hmm. two specifically there was a Hallmark and a Warner Brothers mm-hmm. um, and one of them I think it was I had the VHS that been. came with the key. Oh, you got the key? You know? I didn't get the key, but I had the VHS. But, My sister um, kept the key. Oh, I wish I had the key. But, um, <laughs> but there was one where it opened with Mary Lennox uh, as, an, as a grown woman and then like went back and forth and all sorts of things. And I was so confused because I didn't know that... F- that film could be shot non-linearly mm-hmm. and so I was thinking oh my gosh they must have had to wait like 20 years for this little girl to grow up and then oh, I, yeah, there was yeah. at some point in which I re- registered that, that mm-hmm. was not yeah. how it worked but I <laughs> don't know when that was funny hmm. uh, Dick Hesler asks Danny will you ever run a full evil campaign uh, wait, with developed friends, it seems like most of their games are just evil. Yeah, yeah. I think that's actually why. I, I don't think I would because I feel like it's more fun for a good com- good campaign to go sour than just start sour because then you got nowhere to go. <laughs> like I, I like evil characters, but I think not as a player. I might do it someday just to try it. We did an evil. We did day. We did a Halloween mm-hmm. episode where Amber ruled the world. <laughs> oh, I can just see yeah. that. I can see that. Amber kills everyone. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Gleefully <laughs> <laughs> slaughtering everything in her path. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. She <laughs> actually. I remember the she she found an artifact that basically gave her mind control powers. Oh just took, no. Jeez, it's scary. Yeah. Media Plex says, "How angry must TV Flash feel about not being Movie Flash?" <laughs> Which TV Flash, though, man? Yeah. You got that's a lot of failed flashes at this point. Failed um, flashes. So Flash Paradox, right there. Because because old TV Flash is current current Flash's dad on the <laughs> show, and then current TV Flash. I would take him as Movie Flash. Current no TV problem. Flash. Current TV is, Flash is what has been successful. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he's mad. He's got a full series. He's probably he's making bank. And also, I would rather be Flash in a decent... Uh, like, actually, you know what? I enjoy the Flash. It's just can't be enough for it to still be fun. Hmm. Um, but I, I don't know. It's like, I'd rather be the Flash in the show that I like than in the movie that I don't... I don't mm. like those movies. Uh, womp womp. <laughs> DC movies are Marvel movies. Marvel movies are killing it. DC animated, however, is the superior animated universe Mm -hmm. uh, by far. Um, Yeah, all the Batman ones. But yeah, man. DC... Flashpoint Paradox as as an animation is awesome. The only thing lately that that pissed me off was, was their... The extra shit they added to the killing joke, mm. effectively like <laughs> uh, shitting all over Batgirl as a character, yeah. that made me mad, <laughs> mad. Um, yeah, and that's also my favorite comic. So why fuck with perfection? Um, anywho, favorite Marvel character? Oh, jeez. No. Hulk. <laughs> the Hulk. The Hulk. Oh, I love the Hulk. Mm. I love his complexity. Mm. 
Who else? Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> I didn't say Mark Ruffalo. I said the Hulk. I'm saying yeah. I not Banner. Mark Ruffalo. Hulk. Well, yeah, same thing. <laughs> no, yeah, no. The Hulk. Not Jekyll. Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like... All right. Doctor Jekyll. Doctor J. How's this Spidey kid? So it's still mm. Spidey for me. I'm always a Spider Man. Mm. Skinny little kid, a, got powers, I, protecting the I don't subscribe to the fandom as yeah. strongly as others, so I'm very. Did you, different. Did you like any of the X Men? I, I don't or... love anyone enough yeah. to. I would be basing it off of what actor I like the most. That's okay, I don't know if that is. What, ooh, what of those characters that you know would you cosplay as? Oh! <laughs> Ryan has your favorite Marvel character. Maybe Black but, Widow. I think would be fun. Okay. I do Black Widow. Deadpool. But I don't care for. <laughs> but I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't love Black Widow. Yeah. But I think she would be fun to cosplay. Cool. Uh, favorite Marvel character. Um. I mean, I like Tony Stark. Um. Just in general, he's uh, pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Movie Tony Stark is far superior to comics Tony Stark, in my opinion. I, comics I, Tony I, Stark is a dick. Yeah. He's a dick, and I hate him. Robert Downey Jr. can do no wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He is charismatic. Yeah, he is like the definition of charisma. Cool. Yeah. And so. Uh, I definitely, definitely like the movie Tony Stark more. Yes. Charming dick. Um, movie Stark yeah. is the best. Um, but like the I, there there is a, a X Men called Forge, yeah. Um, yes, there is, <laughs> and he has one of the coolest powers in my opinion, where basically he thinks up whatever he wants and he can basically build it. Be- so he's basically the Tony Stark. Oh, but, interesting. Like, Could you do cool. that with chocolate? Like think of it and then it comes. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's, it's oh, like, see, that's the power so I want. So he can build any machine. He's an engineer. Yeah, so, in a way. Yeah. He's, he's a super engineer. No, I yeah. want the chocolate power. So, okay, you have chocolate. <laughs> Uh, favorite Batman, the only weird. answer is Kevin Conroy. Man, that's a great uh, the voice is perfect. Uh, let's see. I've been uh, what D and D class do you want to play but are scared? I like how someone says Will Arnett. Magic users. Will Arnett, Arnett is one of the <laughs> It's so funny. Will Arnett. Ah. Will Arnett is is delightful Batman. I mean here's the thing. I love pretty much every Batman except the Schumacher Batmans. Mm. Batman, if you will. Aww. That was aw. If no one, I just want to say Salen's Le- Salen's legacy campaign is amazing. Not only because of the story, mm. but the characters that each of you have created. You breathe life and emotional depth into your creators, and that is all we can ever ask for as fans. So thank you all. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, DK Circer. Yeah. Thank awesome. you, players, for making nice it matter. We're just We're happy felt. to be here. Thanks for thanks for watching this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, All right. So move it out. <laughs> Forge is amazing. Forge is amazing. What's amazing? Forge. Forge. Oh, that was a good. Did you just? Did you see that one? The the Nordic geek question. What D and D class do you want to play but are scared? Oh, every magic user. <laughs> I I just uh, it complicates it. I think mostly because when we play, I don't because of our general situation. Yeah. I don't have full access to my character oh, sheets, so magic users become very complicated for me. Thank you for the sub! Boom, boom, right. boom. Thank you for the gifting of oh, the yeah, sub. Thank you for gifting the sub. <laughs> um, bum, bum, bum. I don't know if there's ones that I would probably be more uninclined. Hmm. Like, yeah, I but then if I create a character around the class, uh-huh. then it would work. Like, yeah. Vafia was a barbarian. Yeah. And I would never choose that to, mm. to play. But I really liked this character that went with it. So yeah. when you have the whole kit, I guess. Yeah. I, Hand gestures. Yeah. Same for me. Like I don't really have any any class that I'd be afraid of playing because like I feel as a DM I've almost played them all anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It's different. I think when you when you're not just a player, that question doesn't necessarily fall the same. Well, right. I can say for me. It, all of them are much less daunting when it's in this format versus if I am in a video game mm. and I'm having to 
have different different skills that way where there are things that I am very not inclined to play mm -hmm. because I do not want to suck. Right. <laughs> I was super scared about playing a wizard um, just with all the different components and all that stuff and, and being super squishy and just having the fear of dying all the time because <laughs> they don't they don't get very much hit points, you know. Um, and like having the having the having the limited amount of spells that you're able to mm. like choose from like a paladin, I can yeah I can mm. you know um, on that you don't even have to worry about choosing, you just prepare. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, but I think wizard Wizard has been just such a fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wizard's was, was, was been fun. Wizard's just awesome. Okay, Bruce says Justin can't relate to being squishy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I can. Oh my <laughs> that was my belly. That was my belly. I was looking at my belly. TOS. TOS. Media Flex says Do you guys put effort into not playing smarter than your character? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy sure does. I, the effort is playing as my smart character. <laughs> I'm not smart. Oh, no, you are no, no. Nitsuch intelligence? Nitsuch, so like the wisdom wise, though, I think. Uh, Nitsuch had super low wisdom. And I had to play just dumb as shit for common sense. For street smarts, mm -hmm. he does not have it. And I'm actually, uh, it's, this, is, this is a little embarrassing. I'm actually like trying to learn like a different word <laughs> uh, like every week um, oh, to up Nitsage's, you yeah. know, vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> What's this week? What's this week's word? Vocabulary. <laughs> oh, what is dictionary? A tonight, trope. I a trope. Have, <laughs> I have a dictionary. dot com, and then it'll <laughs> pop up with the word of the day every day. Um, a, oh, that's a sad word. That looks like word? that looks like sausage. Abusage oh. is Ooh. the word of the day, which is, which I mean, is appropriate for this conversation. Hmm. Abusage, improper use of words, unidiomatic or ungrammatical language. Hmm. I see, I, I see a boo sausage. That's <laughs> what I see. A boo sausage. I had to, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I was out. I'm just gonna go with this for a second. Sorry, questions. So for my anniversary dinner, mm. um, we went out to this nice restaurant and we were looking at the dessert menu thinking, okay, we'll split something. And I see the description of something, but I've never seen the word written out. Mm, and mm -hmm. But I only know this because of Great British Bake Off. And so I'm like, oh, it's a Bavawa. I'm like, that's a Bavawa. And my husband looks, he's like, that's a Bavarius. <laughs> it's like Bavarius. That sounds like a name of a, like a dwarf warrior, like Bavarius. And so... Mm. Bavawa is Bavarius. No. That's great. I love it's going it. in the book. Bavawa. Bavarius. Exactly how it's how it sounds, but it's pronounced Bavawa. <laughs> Tell him. My favorite used to get what? <laughs> oh goodness gracious! <laughs> nope. Slow. <laughs> nope. Slow and. <laughs> Is that a disease? Oh, this is a good question. And uh, yeah, uh, DKS Lurker asks, has there been a decision that any of you have regretted that your character has made in the campaign so far? And uh, uh, Haley's in the chat, so obviously feel free to answer any of these questions as well. Uh, Golden Eye Stone. Um, yeah. 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 Making a deal with <laughs> the demon. Oh, man. I regret, I regret that on that. your behalf. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. But I, it's been a, just a complete joy to have him get into shenanigans. I, I feel bad not having thus far gotten to know my cousin as much, um, Starheart's cousin, Twice. because I feel she'd been looking for family for so long, and then have someone, and then we get into this situation where I don't I don't really have any time to become friends but yeah. I feel very sad about that mm. that I'm not I, I, I constantly am feeling oh gosh am I brushing him off or am mm. I just kind of putting him by the wayside when this person is family and I need to develop this relationship but I think also a lot of that is diva <laughs> feeling very <laughs> bad that 
there is this person, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, from what? Dewey. Oh. Nope. Or oh. regret something that hasn't really come oh. up yet. But uh, she to Ophelia? Who is Ophelia? Oh my god, I bet it's her younger sister. I bet you right now. I'm gonna call. Oh no, it wasn't Ophelia. Ophelia was her, Ophelia? her cover. Her cover. Her cover? Yeah, she had. She, she was, was a. Not always a teeth. Yeah. When no, she, she first was, arrived, she was she was in hiding. She was in disguise. That's right. Oh, I never. I never. I wasn't there for that. No, um, you were not. What is the studio goal? Oh, glass hole. So the studio goal is, uh, this is the number we have found. Uh, that's how much we need to make per month so that we can get a permanent studio space. Uh, but and, and also still take care of like the rest of our uh, needs and duties as far as like equipment and all that stuff. Duty. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what that number is for. So if we can hit that consistently, we can act more actively like just be like, cool, we can grab a space now and then we can do that. For so how long? In Indefinitely. No, no, no. Like. <laughs> So like you you <laughs> say you say you hit it for for one month are you yeah. then qualified for the studio no, or is it like no you know way. you get to hit it it's for just like that is our monthly goal so that we can stay afloat as a business yes yeah, yeah. Uh, says forever forever uh, yeah because uh, it ain't creative space around here isn't cheap um, and then on top of that it's like we'd have to keep the lights on we'd have to have high speed internet we'd have to um, uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully be able to pay ourselves our guests and all that stuff, but also like equipment. We've been upgrading equipment all the while in the background. We uh, currently, I'm in, we're using, we got a new internal um, capture, card. capture card for the PC to make our setup a little more simple, which allows us to be a little more mobile, um, all that kind of stuff. It's like, it's all the stuff that you guys don't see that we're constantly upgrading as well. Mm. Uh, a lot of hardware stuff. Um, and like, we're gonna be up updating this so it's not clips in a little bit. We're just yeah. talking about that. Yeah, like, I, um... Yeah, this being the green screen that you yeah, can't there's a, there's see a green at all as a I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. I am clearly in a castle. Oh, yes, yes. With, clearly. With continuous flame torches. Yes. yes. Hey, man, so they're, they're, further, they're far they're enough propane. away from me that I'm, my hair is... natural gas. Yeah. <laughs> so the, uh, ah! oh, the Elgato HD Pro. Yes. Holy crap. Hey, oh, thank you, thank you, thank thank you so much. Friend. Much appreciated. Very, very much. Studio friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, um, yeah, sorry. Do you, so I've noticed that uh, maybe the mm, marketing, like the social media marketing for getting Perception Studio out, mm -hmm. for me, I think I, like, I don't see it at all. Right. I think there could be a push for that. Do you guys have any ideas of <laughs> pushing the like, We need marketing? to do it for yeah, one. Fair we, enough. We've been, we've been yeah. slacking, but yes, uh, we used to be a lot stronger at it and we, yeah. we have. When when we were doing our like our partner push the last time, one of the things we made sure was, was like, before every show, yeah. there's going to be a, a Twitter post before like, we ask questions daily in the Twitter, like, hey, let's keep everyone responding, everyone retweet this, stuff mm, like that. Mm. Um, and it's just, it does take a lot more effort. Mm -hmm. And, um, but also <laughs> Twitch is not a good platform to get exposed on. Really? Really, yeah, it is. That's a banyan. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, sorry. Uh, Raina says she loves the torches growing out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't adjust. This is my new hair piece. That empty space is usually where our incentives are. Yes. <laughs> me who. Um. <laughs> um. It's almost like you we, guys should get some more YouTube. We hmm. we we post to YouTube as much as we can with all of our old content, but we also want to like do recorded content to have there. We will be, and we will be. Um, we're actually yeah. doing we're doing our first podcast. Or we'll on the re third. recording yeah. it on the yeah. third, and then we'll be nice. slicing it up, releasing it as episodes. Fun. Um, and we're going to try and oh hi. Hey oh. Thank you, Glasswell, for twenty five dollars. Thank you very very much. Much appreciated. Wait, is this counting towards a monster? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Not tonight. <laughs> what, is, what would that no, mean? Don't it's like, no, here is your existential yeah, it's, crisis it's, for the it's, evening. It's, thank you so much. Uh, Bills. <laughs> um, no, and, and, like, and of course, like on the days where we actually have uh, incentivized shows, um, 
where your donations actually go to have effects in the story, uh, it makes yeah. more sense why you'd want to tip there anyway. So yeah. like days like this, I would much appreciate it that you're just helping us out. Yeah, yeah. that's just it. That's very yeah. sweet. Um, and yeah, and then the reason the bar has changed is because a lot of you have asked kind of like, well, what do you guys need? Because you all have been so great with, with us. And so we're just like, all right, we'll just throw it out there. So what I would like to do, I don't even know if it's possible. I'm, I'm sure it is. I don't know how to do it. But what I would like to do is have a separate bar that is for yeah. the current show. Mm -hmm. And then this bar always visible underneath throughout yeah. the month so that we can always see where we're at big picture as well as small picture. That's yeah. very nice. Um, what we'll yeah. have to do is do a, a, a web browser source mm -hmm. as the other bar. Sure. So that this bar that you see currently will we'll be update, able to update like from a server and like continuously just add to the number, which Kenny will probably have to do on a Wednesday night or something. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, um, if it's manual, but, that's fine too. Yeah, but this is a way to track it. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, just so we can have a separate, a second entity. We're still happy to be able to do. Just make it a Chrome brow, make it a Chrome browser add-on. Have everyone, <laughs> everyone download it, and then they'll see it in their face every single day. Right. And then they'll be like, you know what? I need it to be completely full because I can't, I can't have that little sliver of blue. I need it all orange. Thank you, Nordic Geek. Appreciate <laughs> it. Appreciate it very much. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to be done. And the cool thing is. Once we get the studio, and I will keep chugging this and screaming this, it's like once we're able to do that, and this, those numbers are a little more consistent, um, we can almost immediately <laughs> double our content on the nights that we're already doing shows Just because we don't have that extra time of setup, tear down, all that jazz. Because um, that, that does eat up a lot of time, like almost an RPG's show's worth of time. Um, so we want to be able to just walk in the door, flip a switch, and stream. Um, which is very possible because the idea is that space will be designed and built around the idea of that instead of us trying to cram ourselves into whatever works. It's this space will work for us. Um, and we have, we already talked about shows that we want to do. I know that we've talked about we want to get our, mm -hmm. our improv group down here mm -hmm. and we want to play games for you guys and, and do like, you know, take suggestions from the chat and that kind and of thing. And a lot of people play, um, D or not a lot of people, some people with our, our improv troupe play D D and a lot of them play board games tabletop and we've been having a lot of fun with that too so that's something you could beep, bloop, bloop, bloop. let's do it all right oh uh i would like i do think we should uh all right here 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 i'm gonna jump into the voice chat so sarah can say the word <laughs> hmm. uh, i'll be in checker chat i don't know we're in checker chat say the word. oh god Whoa. hold on let me uh let me mute myself oh, over here Oh gosh, Rick. Oh crap. Oh dear. All right, I'm in checker chat. One sec, she says. Checker chat is and our voice I, chat in the Discord. I want to know what the definition is I as well. I know what the Discord is now. Most, yeah. I need to look up the definition. It was like, it, it was a million letters. A million letters. It, it, it was, I counted. Whoa! Two Whoa. Ah, oh, Rena. Oh, oh, Rena. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Oh, she says, make your dreams come true. Oh, Rena. <laughs> thank you, friend. Yes. Okay, solution. All right, All right we're ready. Ready. It's Floxy Noxy Nihilipilification. What is that? What are we talking about? <laughs> That's the word that she challenges that people with. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. It means the right. estimation Leaving of the something as valueless. <laughs> ah. Floxy Noxy Nihilipilification. That yeah, you like, know. That sounds like that Hawaiian one. state fish. <laughs> 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 Malakalikumaka. <laughs> Is the thing to say. <laughs> On a bright Hawaiian. Oh, damn it. My oh, friend, my buddy Jared and I made up a word uh, in senior year of high school. Uh, and <laughs> we just made, we just shamed like a whole bunch of like words together. And it was basically a, like class, class, uh, class today, zero quattro centurious bimillennia phobia. Oh. <laughs> And it meant the fear of class 2004. And so we put that on pep rallies, you know, and like, <laughs> it was our own little stupid joke, but I think it's like 32 letters. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, so dumb. Excuse me. That's great. I'm getting the sleepies. Oh, no. 
Right. Earthquake test. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we want to say we're going to wrap this up. Because this is about the time, this is actually past the time we yeah. normally be playing d, &D. We went way so, farther than we, yeah, way so longer than we thought we were going to anyway. There's yeah, so, many, so many fun things happened up. So thanks to everyone for the Did questions. Thanks for hanging out. Us? We'll have D&D for you soon. I swear. Next uh, week, yeah. Well, y'all, y'all be back with fucking friends tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yeah. Duh. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Uh, yeah. So tune in tomorrow night for Perception Check, which is our D and D show with our felted friends Chunk and Cucumber. Uh, and is Brian playing tomorrow? As far as I know. And probably Brian. Keep you posted. Uh, Brian is our new felted friend who had his debut last week. Yes. Is that is that Andrew? It's Brian. <laughs> I Andrew mean, is his manager. Andrew is his manager. manager. The manager. <laughs> is it Brian uh, with an I or a Y? Uh, Do we not know? Uh, we kept saying Brian. 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 I don't know. That's a Y. That's a, that's I mean, a Y. That I sounds like Brian. a Brian. Brian. Hmm. All right. Good night, friends. But we, we of course, will not leave without raiding somebody because we want to pay him. that love forward. And Let's that's raid. what he's going to do. Uh, we'll check you over to our good friends over at the Scabby Rooster. And I was shocked I didn't the see these kids. The Scabby Rooster. That's so fun. Oh, yeah. But no, thank you guys so much. We had fun, uh, we had fun talking and chatting and hanging out. Oh, we still need to go visit them. Oh, we're supposed to. Shit. What day is it? <laughs> Never mind. We'll chat. We're supposed to. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> we're going to raid the Scabby Rooster. <laughs> Beep boop. Uh, so everybody, uh, thank you again so much for hanging out with us, and uh, I'm gonna check my emails more often. And <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. Uh, so yeah, we'll see y'all soon. We'll see you tomorrow night, and then don't forget on uh, Monday nights we have uh, Cinephilia with Art yeah. and Will. That's our movie talk show where you can be a part of the conversation, and really, it's just it's a good time. They're gonna be talking all about. Uh, no, they did that the SC, uh, San Diego Comic Con stuff this week already. They already did. They did that, but they're still always gonna talk about something cool. I love that show. Yeah. Um, all right. Cool. Doing it. Bye, guys. Yay. Waving goodbye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. You're waving in front of me. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>